Hello everyone. Let me uh, quickly throw the ping out in the Discord. There we go. Okay, and uh, to start us off for the stream today, I'm gonna say, first of all, that uh, the recording is fucked. Thank you, Dwarf Fortress. I don't know what happened, but uh, somehow it's gotten worse with OBS, so that's fun. Um, so, I'm just gonna have to record it on the main screen for now. I'm gonna have to remember that's gonna be there. But, uh, unfortunately, the actual, like, stand way of recording Dwarf Fortress just doesn't fucking work anymore, so... Ah, oh well. Alright, we can win some, we can lose some. So! Last time we left off, we were screwing around with the bathhouse. We just- oh, there's a cat in the fucking bath right now. Uh, we were just done sorting out the bathhouse and, uh, and balancing the water pressure in here and figuring this out. Uh, and we also have to deal with a goblin invasion that has just shown up. So, very first thing we're gonna do is go to burrows and, uh, get everyone inside of the burrow. So everyone- burrow's on, good. Anyone? Nope, everyone's good. Okay, so- Everyone should, uh, in a moment, cool, cool, that's good, should sprint inside of the burrow and then stay inside, and there shouldn't be anyone outside. There's a colony of honeybees over here. Um, alright, now let me fuck off. YouTube's like, now would be a good time to insert ads. No, it wouldn't. Uh, unfortunately, every time I alt-tab, it's gonna fucking disappear, which is annoying, but, ah, oh, well, that's just because of the, uh, the recording change. Thank you, Dwarf Fortress. It was simply too easy to be recorded normally, wasn't it? Alright. Um, okay, so that's all good. We've got... Is there anyone... Oh god, I wish there was a way to check if there's anyone outside of the fortress still. Alright, these guys are moving up here. Considering that I don't see anyone outside of the fortress, I'm gonna pull the lever now. Because we need to pull it nice and early. Oh my god, everyone's in here to farm! Holy shit! Alright, let's go down... Uh, to here, and we're going to want to pull the, not this one, pull the northern bridge, this one. Can I recenter? Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Oh my god, they really brought a big army this time. But that's fine, we finally get to test out our little sniper perches, and uh, we can give them a- Oh! Fuck! Deus Vault is still outside of the fort. Well, let me just check to make sure we're not about to catapult that dude. Okay, no, he still has time. Okay. I'll wait and watch. I'll see if he has enough time to get in. Oh, Snatcher. Oh shit, where is that? Oh. What? Why is there a bard here? How did he get here? Is this just a... random bard? Yeah, no, he's just a visitor. Okay. Oh, I guess they're just letting him leave. Oh! We had goblins fall into the traps. Good, good. We needed those. Uh, Deus Vault is through. Okay, so please actually go pull that lever now. Okay, the lever's gonna get pulled in a sec. Okay. So, Violent Force of Darkness has arrived. Uh, that's Cat Birth. Don't care about that. Sparring. Okay, alright. So this bridge will be pulled. Yes! Okay! So for once, we have secured ourselves against the invaders. We are now going to actually use our fortifications. I've never done this uh, before, so let's actually try them out. This is like one of the things I was originally designing. So what we do is we send the Earthen Eagles uh, up to here, all right? And these fortifications, the Earthen Eagles should be able to shoot through. So they can station there and they'll be just fine. Let me, oh, oh fuck, whoops. Station, go. Has anyone made the diggy diggy hole joke yet? Yes, many, many people. Uh, let me quickly check as well. Oh, okay, that is working. Good, okay. All right, my alerts are working today. Okay, so let's finish with this fucking goblin menace. Um, oh! Oh, sir Arun, what are you doing? Why were you outside of the fort? The warning was given so long ago. Oh, what do we got over here? Aardvark. And a guava wood trap, okay. Well, I, uh... I have the subtle feeling that this clothier might not last long. My hat. okay, you know what? I have a great idea. So I need to save Sir Arund. Okay. 
Where, how do I, how do I save you? So I go, assign leader. So Arund, okay, good. Okay, you're gonna be the leader. Oh no, we don't need, we don't need anyone else, believe me. Okay, so now what we do, is we just tell this guy to run the fuck away. Like, just, just down to here. There we go. And hopefully... Oh god, he's getting shot at now. Okay, hopefully... Yes, good, okay, you're going the right way, good. Okay, now, now, Sir Arund, please come back the other way. Uh, here we go. You may move over to here. Go. No, don't- oh god, oh god, oh no. Please don't fight. Can I tell you to run away somehow manually? Oh, you're going- you're going into fight. Fuck, um... Nope, go off duty. Just- you're not on duty right now. Please don't fight. Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die so hard. Where are the Marks Dwarves I ordered? Hmm. That is a good question. Where actually are they? Hold on. Uh, let's go by... where are we? Soldier- oh, unreachable location. Hang on a second. Hold on a moment. Do soldiers in burrows still have to listen to that burrow? They might have to actually. Hold on. Let me... So they should be able to move that, so if we go down to here and I find... Where the fuck is... Oh, God. Uh... Oh, my God. This this couldn't be in order, could it? Fucking hell. Where is the guy I'm looking for? Weird. Doesn't look... Oh, no. Okay, here's Rick Peterson. Okay, right. So now tell this guy that he doesn't have to be there. And that should... Hold on. I mistook the eagles for the clothes. Oh, fuck, did I? Okay. Okay, move that to there then. Is that now an unreachable thing? Let's see. Uh, where are we? God. The ability to search would be lovely. Um... Where the fuck is my guy? Rick Peterson. Okay, he's going to a station. Good. Looks like the other ones are too, so he shouldn't have to worry about uh, the burrow then. Well, we'll wait and see. Until then, Clothia. Uh, oh, God, he is... I think he's trailing his own intestines. Hold on a second. I don't need to set their schedule to anything, Chemical Infantry. Uh, yeah, he is trailing his intestines. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh god. Well, that's how he dies. Shouldn't have been outside the fort for so long. You had plenty of time to get back in. Okay. Here we go. Here's our Marks Dwarves, as desired. And there we go, and they can shoot out! Oh. You gonna, you gonna keep shooting, or you just, did you have one bullet? Did you bring one arrow? Oh, you have a bow! Holy shit! How, oh my god, he's big enough to use a bow? Dwarves normally can't use bows. Holy shit, okay. Um, okay, well, none of you have ammo. Okay, you have ammo. You don't have ammo. You don't have ammo. Can you guys get some fucking ammo first? Oh my god, right, hold on. Let me build a, a stockpile up here specifically. Uh, we'll put that there, good. Ammo, stockpile, go, good. Uh, let's quickly go to work orders while we're down here. I'm gonna set... Wood bolts. Oh, wood. No. Wooden bolts. There we go. Uh, and I'll make some iron bolts too. And I'll make some bone bolts. Here we go. Um, okay. So... Oh, you know what? We've got ten of those forged. Oh, fuck, why did I make adamantum? Get that out of there. Okay. Bone bolts, give me like 30. And, uh, and give me 30 wooden bolts as well. 
You guys should not be hurting on ammo. Why are my guys, like... Why are they running to their stations with no ammo? There must be... If I go check stocks... Where's our, uh... Ammunition. We have loads of ammo! Why aren't these guys taking it? What? Look at this! Oh, okay, that's all silver. What the fuck? Why are these all forbidden? Are these all outside of the fort? Hold on a second. Wait, there's not merchants, right? I don't have merchants right now, do I? No? Okay. Why are so many of those forbidden then? Let me, uh... Hold on. Okay, where are all of these? Oh, these are... Wait a second. Is it saying these are, uh... Oh, these are in... Oh! It's listing the ammunition that's in a goblin's quiver. That doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> Why would you show me that? <laughs> okay, alright. Well, let's look at the bolts that I might have. Uh, I have a bunch of wooden bolts. Okay. Yeah, and I have a ton of iron arrows, it looks like. I do definitely have a ton of iron arrows. Weird. Okay, well, I, I should have enough bolts that these guys should be taking some, at least, even though I don't have all of these copper arrows, right? Yeah, no, we got copper arrows as well. Okay. Uh, maybe... We got some bolts that we... have. No, that's all arrows, bolts... So I guess we're low on bolts. We do still have these. We have 50 wooden bolts, so... Well, they should still be using that. I know. Well. Um, okay. Uh, generic white guy, thank you the f uh, for the 50 sec. I finally get to catch one of these lives. Also, when you have time, maybe ask me a dwarf. Sure. You can be... Uh, hold on. Uh, here. There you go. I've chosen a white name to go with generic white guy. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I know dwarves can't shoot arrows out of crossbows. That's that's pretty straightforward. That's like saying that guns can't shoot, you know, arrows. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, uh, I have the arrows, I have the bolts, and I have the arrows, and I don't know why the guys using bows and fucking crossbows aren't taking these. Because, like, this guy over here has a bow. He just doesn't have any arrows. But he should be able to take, like, I don't know, like 80. He's got loads. So... God, is there a way to go, maybe the, the equipment? Let's see. Yeah, see, only two guys have even grabbed bu uh, bolts. Uh, okay, what do we got? Individual choice, right? Okay, I'm looking for, like... Where is... Is the shield a buckler? No. Is there no way to, like... Control, like, fuck. They used, I swear there used to be a way to, like, control how much ammo they took. Uh, there was, like, a known system that was, like, hey, you, you set them to take this much ammo, and if they run out of ammo, they'll go for more, kind of thing. But, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, he's got his big bow, but maybe new weapon, I can't. Not through that. No. Okay. Uh, new body wear. No. This is weird. Um, from one of the clothes. Okay. Well, well, this is a frustrating scenario. Um, is that a scroll load out the system? That's what I was just looking at. That's literally what I was just looking at. That is the squad loadout system. So, I don't know why these guys aren't taking their ammo. I might just tell them to, like, chill for a bit and retire. Fuck it. You guys can retire for a bit, and, uh, and I'm gonna just, uh, you guys just... You're, you're even concentrating. You should be fine. Come on. God damn. Uh, and tell you what, while we're at it, just while we're down here, let's set up a quick channel for the archery. Uh, this should actually help us recover our bolts. Um, I think that's how this works again. There is a bug. Designate the ammo stockpile to not use bins. Oh, do they not get ammo out of the stockpile if it's in bins? Hold on. Uh, which is my fucking ammo stockpile again? Here it is, this one. Uh, ammo stockpile. Let's go... Remove all the bins from this. There we go. Well, hold on, actually. It's not even just bins. There's ones in here as well. Uh, I'm trying to remember which... They might be gone now, actually. You guys didn't happen to pick up more ammo, did you? Nope. Okay, I don't know where the ammo's gone then. 
And let's change this one as well. Uh, here we go, max bins. Zero, good. And those bins, yeah, they have bunches of arrows in them and bolts. So hopefully we'll get stuff out of those. Uh, and then if we go up to the top, I'm going to do the same up here and go turn that down to zero. Okay. Well... I guess smooth the area for now. There we go. We can smooth this area as well. Um, these guys should be sorting out the bin problem in a moment, but is there any way I can maybe like dump these out of the bin? Not, not without literally dumping them at least. God. Um, oh, petitions. Oh, Sir Arun has been found dead. That's fine. Yo, oh my god! Yes! Yes! The first person in forever, an actual monster hunter. Hello, Thur, you're welcome. Come on into the fucking, come on into the fort. Oh my god, that's the first monster hunter in so long. I'm so happy. Alright, uh, we have fucking Ongu, and now we have Thur Samiwom, who is a human hammer man. What's he got? Well, he has an artifact sword, despite the fact he's a hammer man. He's got an artifact bri uh, bismuth bronze sword. That's fucking cool. All right, that's cool as hell. Not a bard. We finally have someone who's not a fucking bard. Oh, God. All right. Uh, let me just want to have a look at him again. Let's see. So he's also got bronze shield. He's got iron armor, some copper armor. He is a competent hammer man, not good at much else. So he's not amazing, but you know what? He, he might be a good fighter. He's also 30 years old as opposed to like, you know, 80 like all of the other ones were. Okay, sparring, that's fine. Okay, making soap and limonite. Okay, that's fine. Militia, cool. Chalk statue toppled by Yurton. How dare you? Uh, Yurton is throwing a tantrum, okay. Uh, so around is found dead. Visiting. Okay, cancellations. All right. So, siege is still on. Let's get back down to where we were with the uh, these boys. Actually, hold on. Let's go to the work orders real quick. And we're going to. Oh, is there a way to like max priority on these? I don't think there is. Oh fuck. Okay. Hold on. Um. Shit. How do I? Oh, this is going to take forever to move these up to the top. Hold on. I'm just going to move them as far up as I can. Oh, fuck, that's not even the one I needed. I really wish that I had a few more hotkeys in this game. Things like, move straight to top. You know, like that kind of that kind of button. Because uh, doing stuff like this is kind of frustrating. But there is a secondary solution. Worry not. Which is, I'm just going to go to the workshops and place orders for bolts directly. Because we desperately fucking need them. Please, just produce me wooden bolts. Do so on repeat. Uh, is that... Oh, right, gotta go to the... Bowyers, right? Oh no, it's Craft Dwarf. Yeah, it's here, there we go. We're going to do Craft Dwarf, so... Oh, we can actually build more as well. So, let's throw those down. Uh, where are we? Crafts, good. Two more of these. Nice. Uh, cancel everything that isn't making bolts. I desire more bolt production. Good. Okay. I do know that nuclear. Don't worry. And it's not going to prioritize. It's going to prioritize it in the single moment to, it would like basically to sell, tell dwarves to go to it. The problem is the prioritization of the bone bolts. So the bone. Bolts and the wooden bolts over the crafts and figurines, because that's what was taking the time. Uh, and the annoyance was there was no easy move to the top for the work orders, so I can just manually add these instead. So, get those out of there. Let's add in a wooden bolt option as well, and I'll just put that on... Nope, oh, nope, fuck. Gotta go down the wood option first, and then into the bolts, and then this one I can set for infinite. Nice. Alright, so we'll have some bolts being produced at least. Um... 
Maybe once we fix this fucking ammo situation, I can actually go send my dwarves up to fight. Uh, how are we doing? Okay, some more people have ammo. Not everyone yet, but some more people have ammo. That's a good start. Uh, we also need a bunch of bags for these guys. They're definitely lacking in backpacks, so... I'm gonna put in a work order for some leather backpacks. Uh, and we'll make ten of those, just, uh, just for extra. Okay. Is the Red Siege button at the top because you're under siege or- Yes, uh, so we are currently under siege by some goblins, which are outside of our fort. Some of them have fallen into traps, thankfully. Uh, if we look at the remaining goblins... Here we go. Bunch of invading goblins here. Uh, and they're all vibing around, doing their thing, hanging out, having a good time. Uh, and we are currently locked up in our fort, solving the ammo situation, because we've run out of fucking ammo. Uh, so... <laughs> We'll see how that goes in a moment. The the animals, thankfully, will keep us fed for fucking ever. So I think we're fine. Um. Okay. So. How goes the work orders? Okay, Bone bolts are on the make. Good. Bone bolts. Wooden bolts. Okay, so we're making bolts. This is good. Stray dog bones are getting turned into bolts. Let's see. I want to see, like, how many bolts we're actually producing. Dog bone scepter. <laughs> oh, God. Dog bone figurine of Stozu. Look. Oh, my God. It's a figurine of Stozu. <laughs> Made out of dog bone. The transformation of the fist of Riznal from a human into the fist. Oh, that's like, it's like showing her transformation. She's screaming in this one. Oh, my God. <laughs> There we go, yak bone bolts made five of them. Okay, so we are making bolts. We've definitely got bolt production. Okay, you guys need to stop training at the, uh... Can I tell you guys to just stop training, actually? Is that a thing I can... Let's do a new schedule. Is there a, uh... Yeah, let's just go to ready, but it should keep them active, right, this one? Hold on. Uh... Sleep room at will, sleep barracks at will, sleep barracks at need, okay. Uh, equipment, that should be fine, right? Oh no, they all just wander off, okay. Uh, well, I'll leave them on that for now, just so that I, uh, I, what's called, won't have them wasting ammo and training. Okay, the bolts are actually getting put on the ground now, so this might mean that if we activate them, let's quickly just send them into here. These guys should run and grab the bolts, right? Looking good. Yes! Okay, they're actually picking the bolts up now. God, that's an annoying bug. Holy shit. Okay, I hope they fix that quickly, because this makes Marks Dwarves really annoying. Okay. My current fortress is on the edge of the world. I have to fight with the sentient unicorns who move fast and hit like trucks. Dwarf losses 27! Holy shit! Yeah, unicorns are a motherfucker. They are tough as nails. Uh, when the, uh, fucking elves ride in, ride in on them as cavalry, it's scary. Holy shit. Thank you, Whispers, for the, uh, the five bucks, mate. The five bucks, uh, super chat. Let me, uh, see. Okay, it looks like most of the goblins are there. Moving our boys up to here. Come on. As soon as we've got the guys set here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the bridge again, and I'm going to let the goblins think that they can get in for a bit. Okay, we've got my dwarves moving up. Good. Okay, so we pull the lever. We move up. Here we go. Okay, we've got some dwarves. These guys have actual bolts. Good. Okay, so now, since the goblins should be able to see into my fort, they should start running in. Oh, there's a goblin mercenary here, huh. Alright, well, let's look at this. Yep, okay, they're running over. Good, good, good. Thankfully, it's going to take a long time till they get here, and we still have a bunch of traps keeping us safe. Uh, I am, however, going to prep the uh, mechanical ends just down here, just in preparation in case everything goes horribly wrong. Uh, and this dwarf squad no longer exists. Get out of here. Oh! Oh god, I thought that was a snatcher coming in. No, it was a goblin bard who took the moment of the gate being opened to run in. 
Oh, you made me shit myself there, Goblin Bard. Be careful, we're at war with them right now. Oh, and here's a Hammer Dwarf coming to visit as well. He's an adequate beekeeper. Hello there, Hammer Dwarf. Oh, and oh, here's some other visitors as well. Here's a Mace Dwarf. And here's a Mace... Which is, there's just an army arriving. Oh my god. Oh no, this idiotic Marks Dwarf. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Okay, get ready, everyone. We're gonna have to close the gate in a second. Hold on. Okay, please, everyone, stop using the gate so I can pull the lever without launching you into the fucking stratosphere. Okay, Rick Peterson, please get out of there, bro. Come on. Okay. Oh, my God, there's someone else. There's a human merchant arriving. Oh, followed by a beast hunter. Oh, my God. Can you guys stop getting really busy when I'm under siege? Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's someone else coming. It's a bard. Okay, well, the goblins are coming. I don't care about the bards anymore. You know what? Bards, we've had enough of those ones. Pull the bloody lever. Oh, my God. Oh, here comes a quick goblin. Not that it's going to matter because uh, he's about to fall into the trap. And... Oh, no, he just slipped past. Oh, shit. Okay. Please do not get in the bridge, guys. Just do not get in the bridge. The lever is being pulled. Get away from the bridge. Get away from the bridge. Let's take both you guys. Move you away from the bridge. I don't know how you didn't fall for that cage trap. But it... No! Oh, well, there's a dead dog. Please pull the lever. Please! Oh god, Scholar, I'm so sorry. Don't- don't cross the bridge! Don't cross the- You are so lucky! You were one step from death there, Mr. Catton. Okay. Uh, where did the other goblins go? Hello? Where- Where did they go? Why weren't they rushing up here? Uh... Oh! Well, two of them fell into pits to start with. Okay. Uh, a good good start there. Uh, what happened to the other goblins? Oh, these guys are over here. They're just stuck on the far side of the river. I wonder if we'll be able to get a shot from up on uh, this little tower. Let's send the Earthen Eagles over for a look-see. And you guys can get dismissed. Oh, no. Okay, there is a goblin here. <gasps> There's two goblins here, actually. Okay. Earthen Eagles, station, go. Come on, boys. Hopefully they'll run up there and they'll actually be able to hit these goblins from inside of the fortifications. Hate to backseat. Well, clearly you don't. Uh, but no, it wouldn't help. Because that's the only area. Making it a no-traffic zone doesn't mean that they're not going to literally move there. This stuff is, uh, as you can see, will still use the area if other routes do not exist. And that is the only route, so they will still use the area. It's not going to make any difference. Okay. There's a goblin right here. Come on, buddy. Just come this way. Come, wait, what is he... Are they fighting each other? Hold on. Are you... Oh, they're fighting the mercenary, I see. I see. Okay. Wait, wait, we won't get the shot off here. Yes! Yes! Oh, the turret is working as intended! We're, we're engaging in a shootout with the goblin crosswomen here. Who shall win? Come on. Come on, I believe in you, Marks Dwarves. This is some good live training. Yes! Oh, we just shot her crossbow out of her arms. Her name's Stozu as well. Come on. How many bolts have you got to get in you? Jesus. You done yet? <laughs> oh, nope, nope. Goblin run away. Holy shit. Okay, let me have a quick look at the, uh... I hope there's a ghostly surgeon of human. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Uh, right. Who are you, Mr. Stozu? Where are you? Stozu... Gostu star star struck. Here we go. Uh, scroll under here. 
The flying dog bone strikes them in the upper body. Oh, I see. They've got because they've got a copper chest plate. It keeps deflecting the uh, the light ones. I see. Iron bolt punched through. Uh, broke her boot apart. Iron bolt lodges firmly in the wound, tearing the muscle. God, we shot her to pieces. Holy fuck! Shot her in the lower left arm with an iron bolt. Willow bolt. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh. Okay, we did take some wounded here. Looks like the wrestler got hit with a copper bolt. Huh. My god, that's so cool. Alright. That's bloody cool. Alright, let's, uh, run it out. Uh, I don't think that's true. Blip, and, uh, I already have this one built on that one. I don't think height is, uh, actually gives you a range bonus as far as I'm aware. Um... Let me put that one there. There we go. Claim all of this. Good. Oh, come on. Claim it all. Claim it all. There we go. Okay. All right. Who are you? No, go away. All right. We need human to get a slab ordered for him. Uh, thank you very much, uh, BR54. Get 10 bucks, mate. Lost a fortress yesterday because my dwarf necromancer reanimated the dead after a siege, and 50 dwarves, 40 of them being children, jumped into the nearby river and drowned. Yep, that's a, that's a pretty standard scenario right there. Everyone loves jumping in the river together. Going for a big old swim. Let me, uh... Oh. Engrave these. Got any more ghosts? No, just the one. Okay, all right. What about a ballista tower? You can only shoot a ballista in one direction, so ballista tower is not a great idea. Uh, it'd be better to use a ballista corridor. All right. Well, how many uh, how many goblins have we still got left? Five goblins in the open. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set the mechanical ends to defend the front of the fort. Here we go. <coughs> We have the turret manned by, uh, by Mark's Dwarves. Then we go down here, we pull the lever, and we'll open up the gate. So hopefully the, uh, the goblins that are left will rush us, they'll hit the traps, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be fine. We'll face them off and, uh, and win. And then once that's done, we can finally worry about expanding the fort again. Because, uh, we won't have to worry about being closed up anymore. Okay, looks good. What? Oh, someone's stolen our artifact somehow. How? Wait, no, it's it's here. What? It's 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 here. What do you mean it's been moved from its proper? Let me let me send a squad down. Wait. Hmm, no, I mean, maybe I don't need to send a squad. I mean, it's it's just there, right? Yeah, it's right there. Okay, I I don't know. Interesting. Weird. Okay. Whatever. Alright. Gate is open. Okay, here come the goblins. The turret is working. Good. Oh, they're shooting at a retreating bard, I think. Yep. Turret is working. Turret's doing its job. Turret's hitting him. Very nice. Loving this, actually. Okay, and the gate is open for them to push in, but the whole time they'll be taking crossbow fire in the back. Okay, crossing over the bridge, and it begins. The slaughter begins. Oh my god, look at my squad mulch these goblins. Oh god, they didn't stand a chance. There's two invaders left. Alright, that's it. Orders are to just kill the last invaders. Go. I think they're running. <laughs> Look at this. Look at them flee. Yes. Yes, run! Tell them of what happened here. The siege is over. All right. Not a bad start to all things. Okay, that's, uh, that's all right for now. Good, good, good. 
Making all of that. Good, 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 good. Okay, so, quick check. Just caged prisoners left. Oh, hold on, what was that? Top one? Oh, oh yeah, the human uh, boy. Alright, that's good. What we'll do now is we'll tell everyone to relax. We will disable the burrow. And we're good. Okay. Uh, let's get started on our work again now that we're actually past the uh, the point of the siege. So I'm going to go to start dismantling that stuff. We're going to need a lever for the bridge over here. So, what are you linked to anyway? Oh, you're the cavern's lever. Let me uh, let me name you as cavern's lever. Good. Okay, underground bridge, northern bridge, southern bridge. Uh, we're gonna put down a machine lever over here. Good. Okay. Uh, and then I'm also gonna go down to here. I'm gonna put a dog on this leash. There we go. Uh, stick a stray war dog. Good. All right. Where's the music? All right. All right. Hold on. Let me get it working. Oh god. Right. Fucking hell. I got it. I hate this shit. Thank you, game. I. Ah, oh, god. I, I fucking. I wish I could record it normally, but instead I have to show my fucking whole screen to do this shit. Thanks to War Fortress. That's why we don't have music. Is because I was busy trying to figure out why Dwarf Fortress wasn't recording before I uh, started the stream. Let me go get all this shit. There we go. And here we go. Nice stuff. All right, there we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to show my main screen for some ungodly reason. Is it working yet? Nope, it's still not working. They must have something they did in the updates fucked it. So it's just much more annoying to record now for some reason. Anyway. All right. Uh, okay, so we have anything over here that I want to keep an eye on. Where's it? Looks good so far. I might send up another uh, scavenging order. There you go, we'll see what we can get out of here. Chop down some trees as well. Just get a nice little harvest out of the caverns. Uh, here we go, grab that stuff as well. Alright. That's anything we could want. That's the entrance, that'll be fine. Mining areas down here, let's get some more ore. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, coal there, good. Coal here. We'll continue out some more of these as well. Okay. Uh, and then... Aha! Okay, so this... Let me show you this real quick. This actually works. So, when... Go oh, sorry, when dwarves shoot their arrows at, uh, at targets, if you have a trench in front of the target like this, the arrow will hit the target and then drop into the trench and won't be destroyed. This is an old exploit that I remembered, so... I can now go down into here, unforbid those, and we get the ammo back. Uh, Mr. Turner, thank you for two bucks. Here's a few bucks to celebrate the Pippa stream. God, that was a stream and a half, my god. Sometimes I wish I could be a VTuber and just show my feet on stream for money. <laughs> Alright, um... So there you go, as you can see, they go down there to grab that. Uh, Divian Morgan's from the University of 10 bucks, mate. Uh, okay, I'm good. Okay. Story time again. I was once lost in a forest and forgot my axe in adventurer mode. Ran into a Sasquatch, had to rip out both of his eyes and strangle him with my loincloth till he stopped fighting me. Oh my god. Never was much into adventure mode myself. I'm a, I'm a real fortress mode kind of guy. Okay. Uh, what is this petition? No, get out of here. You're a bard. We don't care. Oh, chalk figure. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm a barrel. Okay, so we need to make you a, uh, a fucking engraving as well. Here we go. Why is there blood all around here? Oh, God. You guys should go to the hospital. We have one of those. Okay, good. Right, you are actually getting treated here. 
What's your what's your HP like there, buddy? Ability to stand lot. Ooh! Ooh, he got shot in the head, I think. Oh, he got fucked up actually. What did who did this to you? Oh god damn. Oof, okay. You do realize you need a certain number of bars to acquire other patrons, right? I don't believe that's true at all. Uh, let me go check. Hold on. Visitors to a fortress. And no, I wouldn't realize I haven't played much of the visitor stuff. Uh, we were getting plenty of monster hunters before bards. Let me see. There is nowhere on the wiki that is mentioning this. I don't think you're right about that. I've just checked the wiki, and I just control left bard, and it doesn't mention that about anywhere. Is there some special thing? Visitors want to see work, no. Yeah, okay. I don't think you're correct on that. Maybe before you backseat, maybe be right. <laughs> please, I, if you if you can get me like an actual fucking source, that'd be great, but, uh, but please don't do that if you're not going to be right. It's kind of the most annoying thing on earth. Uh, I see the video and think, oh, I need a Dwarf Fortress video. It turns to be six hours of unedited gameplay. Yeah, it's because Dwarf Fortress is hard to edit. <laughs> Thank you, 20 bucks unknown. Thank you for a super chat, man. I bought this game, don't know how to play it. 10 out of 10. Don't worry, I've been playing it for years. No one knows. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me fucking stick down this slab. Here we go. Chalk slab, nice. Or immigrants wave random? Uh, there's a bunch of different factors on them. Um, for example, if you settle in an unreachable location, uh, migrants can't reach you. Literally. <laughs> like, that's a, that's a thing. Um, that's, uh, migrants can't reach you if you're at a certain distance. There's, like, some other stuff, like, depending on what your civilization is doing. For example, if you have a, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, you know, okay, no, inspective. There will be a need to be snippy because I have one rule in my streams, quite literally one rule. <laughs> you go on my Twitch as well, it's the only rule in my chat. It's no back seating. It's real easy, real simple. Just don't do that shit. It's quite simple. Starting off with a, does he know this? I'm like, well, no, I don't know this because it's not true. So don't ask me if I know something when it's actively not true. <laughs> Come on, man. Of course I'm going to get snippy. It pisses me off. I don't like it. All right. Can you link one lever to two bridges? Yep, you can do that. Wasn't trying to backseat, just offering advice. That's literally backseating. That's <laughs> the oh, I, I swear I wasn't backseating. I was just offering advice. That's that's the same thing, dude. I hate to break it to you. It's the same thing. Why is there a fucking ghost in the wall? Get out of here. I gotta throw you on another slab. Yep, get in this slab. <laughs> the rules. No backseating, no 40k, no fight club. There you go. That's like, that's the three things. Yeah. Alright. Okay, put damage there. Uh, no need for the bards. Get him out of here. Is Battletech acceptable? Absolutely. Even though I don't know much about it. <laughs> I did, I did read up a bit on it after the uh, 40k stuff, but, uh, I mean, at the time I was just not fucking... Wait, why no 40k? Oh, for fuck's sake. Every fucking stream. Guy, I... Just go to my Twitter at this point, please. I have made, like, 70 announcements about how much I hate J Games Workshop and how much they fucked us over. Uh, please, just at some point, go look at any of my socials, and, and you might... And then maybe also the hint from me not covering 40k in, like, a full year... That might also be a hint that, uh, that I'm not into 40k anymore because of the company being a bunch of fucktards. Alright, let's sort out my, uh, my bedrooms here. So we had a bunch more produced. This should be enough bedrooms to pretty much finish it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Please, God, please, ghosts, stop being bastards. Go away. Oh, uh, that one. Okay, good. Is there just another demon that arrived? Yeah, demon at Degnubard and demon at- Oh my god, there's three demons here. Four demons. They're all just vibing. There's demons just flying over my fortress here to hang out, I guess. 
Oh my god. They're all just in the sky. What the fuck? So many demons. Oh, oh, hang on. One got inside. Here we go. This guy actually knows how to have a drink. See, she's come here to relax and ask questions. She's seeking information about the doubts of trenches. Oh dear. All right. They're dwarf watching their favorite pastime. Uh, let me call this the uh, river bridge. And let me link this to here. There we go. And then we, uh, okay, so that's set up there. Now we're gonna do, we're just gonna go through here and produce as many bedrooms as we can. We have, should have enough beds. Okay, what about doors? How many doors have we got? We have enough doors. Okay. Let's do this. Oh god, this is gonna take a while. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Click, 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 click. God, what I would give for Prison Architect's fucking cloning system. Click, 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 click. Click, click, click. Oh, shit. Click, 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 click. Oh god, at least once we're done with this, we won't have to worry about bedrooms for a long while. This should more than solve our, uh, our bedroom issues. Okay. That's enough beds. Oh, sorry, enough doors, rather. Okay, now to the beds. Have I ever heard of or played I Divine Cybermancy? Yeah, I didn't like it. I thought it was boring. Uh... Here we go. Okay, let's... Here we go. Do we stand Colonel Corridor from Avatar here? Goddamn right we do. <laughs> Fucking saw Avatar 2 the other day. Uh, honestly, quite a good movie. I I, I enjoyed it. It wasn't it, like it wasn't as mind blowing as the first one for me, uh, but it was still insanely good. And it was clearly a flex that they set it in an ocean because you know fluids are traditionally very hard to animate. So uh, setting an entire movie, an entire animated movie in an ocean, kind of a baller move. Oh. And, uh, I think we are now out of beds. Correct, out of beds. Okay, good. Alright, well, we need to build even more beds. Uh, so how many more beds do we need? We need about 20 more. Okay. Uh, let's set a work order. I can. There we go. Work order. Bed. Good. Let's make, like, 20. Good. Okay, I'm just gonna move it up. Up as far as we can. Damn, I really thought I'd have enough beds to get through all the bedrooms. Okay. Well, let's see. Um. Do you have issues with the dwarves being pissy walking long distances with how your rooms are laying out? Uh, not really. My dwarves are mostly pissy for other reasons right now. Like, if you look at them... Uh, my dwarves who are actually angry are always angry for weird reasons, which is kind of something I'm finding annoying. Stuff like this. Here we go. So this guy's angry right now, and he needs acquire object, be extravagant, craft object, be with family, socialized, occupied. But I can, he can do all of these things. No one's stopping him from doing these. In fact, we are like mass producing crafts right now. We have all sorts of objects he could be acquiring, but he just doesn't seem to be doing it. I don't know. It, it's a weird, like... I'm not entirely sure how to make these guys- Maybe- maybe it was because he was an earthen eagle and he was busy fighting. Maybe that'll solve his problem now, but let's see someone else. What about you? Well, you're not even a squad member. And you just- yeah, just- he just requires, like, acquire objects and shit. I'm like, but bro, you can. You can acquire objects. Go acquire objects. Oh my god, look at these bedrooms. People are- <laughs> people have dumped their clothes here. You know what? I'm gonna give some, uh, some chests to these guys to make them clean up a little. Jesus. Here's a chest. 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 Put your fucking clothes away, you disgusting bastards. Learn some manners. Oh god, I ran out of chests as well. Oh, Yurton's stumbling around oblivious. Great. Okay, they're put to rest. Good. Alright.
They shouldn't... No, they won't actually need that Destro. They, they should be able to put him in the room anyway. But I'm just dumping these around as many chests as I can. Um, you know what? I'll make even more chests as well. Just make... Put in chest. And we'll produce, let's say, 50 of these. No, you know what? That's not even enough. We'll produce 80. There we go. That should be enough. Well, we have enough crafters around the place. This should get its uh, job done pretty quick. Where's the uh, where's the blacksmithery when I need it? Uh, which, uh, ah, millsmith's down here. Let me make something out of that copper. Let me make a copper helmet. Shield. Shield? Helmet. Helmet, I think is a good idea. Helmets are always a good idea. Because helms are really where your dwarves get the shit kicked out of them. So I'm going to build two copper helms to... Uh, to help toughen my boys up. And while we're at it, we're also going to put in an order for some cloth bags. Uh, actually, you know what? Can I only build leather backpacks? Is there anyone else? You can make an adamanta. You know what? That's good. I think I'll stick to the leather ones. Jesus. Uh, they already made their leather bags? I think they must have. Yeah, okay. All right, let's make a few more then. Leather backpack. And we'll make ten more. There we go. Okay. Alright. A couple of chests in there. And how many cabinets have I got as well? Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, I only have one. Okay, right. So we need some rock cabinets. So let's put a work order for that. Rock cabinet. And we're just going to produce, like, fucking a hundred of those. Because I genuinely need loads. Um... Oh, man. Let's make sure our miners are bringing in everything we need as well. Good stuff. Just a big chop out of that there. I'll let them mine up everything we need. Good. God, we're going to reach the stairs soon over there. All right. Just fitting this coal here. Good. That's mudstone. Sod cluster. Get those out. Good. Micro line here. Just chop up some of this. All right, there is plenty of work for our dwarves in this fortress. There is nothing that they need to be worrying too much about. We've got slabs down. We're pouring lungfish down the trash hole. We're doing pretty good. The fort's looking nice. So I think now that we've done all this... Uh, oh, that's the corpse of someone for certain. Let's go back up to here. And let's take those victory spoils from the invasion. And let's throw them down the hole. So... It's time we threw more shit into the pit. Let's see what we have. Okay. Down goes four goblins into the pit. One of them's a uh, thief. Let's throw an aardvark into the pit as well, just for fun of it. And anyone else want to throw in the pit? Uh, it looks like everyone we're going to throw in the pit. Okay. All right. The pitting begins. Actually, as well, let me uh, place an order for some iron spears. I want 20 of those. Actually, you know what? Give me 30 of those. Should be enough to finish my... Uh... Actually, I'll only need 50... Uh, you're only 20, so yeah, you know what? I'll adjust that to 25. Should be more than enough. Okay. Uh, and when it comes to smelting limonite, have we got a set for that? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. All right. I do know about that era. So don't worry. What is the pit? The pit is where the human lives right now. He massacred the three goblins and the wild boar we threw down. So now we're throwing more stuff down. It's the pit. See here? We're dragging a goblin thief and we're going to throw him down to fight in the pit. And whoever survives the pit becomes the pit lord. They're the current... So the current lord of the pit is, uh, is Sathral... Kem's, uh, Kem Sammy Map. This guy. This guy is the Lord of the Pit right now. Uh. So here comes the, uh, the new contestants. <laughs> Goblin Thief. I don't, I don't like his chances, I'll be frank. Especially considering he's unarmed. Oh god. Can the air not break through doors? Not unless they're a building destroyer. Uh, and that's, even if they were a building destroyer, that's a masterwork door, so it won't matter. Alright. 
Oh, here comes another goblin. Another two goblins. All going down for the pit. Oh. Oh, oh, so it begins. Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought that I thought the thief was about to win. No, okay. Thief got uh, thief got destroyed. Thief fell over, slashed, slashed. The human has lodged his scimitar in its wound. Okay, all right. Well, that was a quick goblin death right there. Why was this human condemned? Oh, because he tried to steal one of our artifacts, so he threw him in the pit. All right. Oh, goblin's down. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's shooting at the human with arrows. Oh, did he get any hits is the question. All right, he's dead. But did that goblin get any hits? It, uh... It does not appear like the goblin got any hits. Let me check with Bowman. Uh, what was this guy's name? Stog Slosum? Yeah, here we go. Uh, nope. Human blocked the arrow and then, uh, and then the goblin Bowman got beaten to death. Okay. Well. <laughs> good to see the human is apparently unkillable. How trained is this man? He's, a sk he's only a skilled swordsman. He's just really good. All right. Do we have any more pit sacrifices coming? Oh, here's one. Here's a pit sacrifice. Crossbowman coming down. Yo! Sathet Rustic Tort wishes to reside in Gate Hut for the purpose of soldiering. Rustic Tort. Uh. Hello. You're the first soldier we've gotten. Yeah, creatures of mercenary. Holy shit. Okay, so we can tell him to join our uh, our guys. Hold on. He has a book. Okay, so we need to get him a... Uh, he's wearing a crown. We do need to get him a weapon. Uh, but yeah, he's just a good swordsman. Okay, sure. So we can actually set him into the mechanical ends. We go here. Uh, and we look around. There's the mercenary. There we go. Yeah, holy shit. Funding for Rustic's inevitable memorial statue. Oh, man. He's so happy for now, though. Let him be happy for now. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the super chat, though. Thank you, great commandy one. Let me, uh... Let me go look at him. Yeah, there you go. Holy shit. What is, what is your book about, by the way? It concerns the apprenticeship of the goblin under the human fern rider. Huh. God damn. All right, well. Uh, let me go back over to two here. Let's set this order for destruction. There we go. Uh, let's also allow some of these bolts that we have just lying around the place. In fact, I'm going to allow anything in this area. Good. Allow. Come on. Can you free the human if he kills enough things? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, did he kill something else? Or... I feel like the human might have killed again. It's hard to tell, though. No, I think he, I think he's still normal. Okay. Thank you very much, Undone, for the, uh, the 10 bucks there. Oh, thank you, Walkie. Thank you, the 5 bucks as well. I come back from basic training. I thank you because it puts a spell on my face after what I've been through so far. Hey, man. Thank you very much. I hope it's not too tough further on. I hope you're all right, mate. All right, let me go like that. Oh, we found a milker dead. Oh, wait, I'm pretty, didn't I already, like, put a slab for that guy out? I'm pretty sure I did. I think we can ignore this. Where was this milker, though? Damn, I can't believe we got a milker as well. All right. Um, so... Oh, why is there a goblin in a cage trap over here? Hmm. Okay, uh, let's... Throw the goblin back down the hole, I guess. Oh no, no, he, he's already assigned to this hole. Okay. Would someone like to throw him down there, please? Oh. Oh no, he just killed the aardvark. Oh god. Oh god, alright. Oh, sorry. Big stretch. Okay. Come on. Let the goblin out of the cage. He needs to go into the pit. 
Goblin in a trench coat was found dead. How many people were outside of the fucking fort? Holy shit. This cannot be considered my fault. You guys had plenty of time to return. Jesus. You know what I need? I need, like, secret entrances to get them back towards the, uh... Towards the area. Oh, Stozu's moving out now. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we can dismantle that as well. God damn, we had a lot of people drop dead. Petition, don't care. Okay. All right. Well, tell you what. Let's get a, let's get some work on these uh, these little planned like backup tunnels. So. Uh, maybe like this? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. So we'll go cut through to here. Cut across like so. Up to here. Let's, uh, let's widen this area a little bit. So this will be the bridge area. There you go. Uh, okay, so bridge area is going to be here. And then we'll carry on up. Right the way to here. Dismantle those. Very good. Okay. And then over to here. So this way, we're going to have a little escape thing on just about every side of the fortress we could need. Let's, uh... Let's push a single tunnel up to here as well. Okay. Alright. So. We'll put a bridge here, and then a bridge here. We'll actually link these together, most likely. Uh... Oh, petitions. Nope, go away. Making the ashes fine, that's good. Okay, fighting, yep, 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 yep. All good, all good, all good. Okay. So, what's this for? This is my little, uh, basically like a, a secret way to get into the fort whenever they're caught out in the open. So if the dwarves are ever caught in the open, they can run into these secret entrances and they should be fine. Uh, tell you what. I'll even add one down here. So we'll go like... Over here, yeah. Like so. Chop your way into here, good. Alright. Let's see. Can you Minecraft piston a block or something to seal these doors? No, that's not how we're going to do this. We're going to use a drawbridge. Much, much better. <laughs> Drawbridges will do the job just fine. Uh, so... There we go. Dig out this area. Uh, where else do we want to put a little escape portal in? I guess we could put one up here even and have it like run all the way down. Sure. Let's have one here. This will be the only one I'll ever put here. But uh, it'll go over here. It'll be like so. We dig in. Around. And then we dig all, oh fuck, all the way down to the fort. Dig over to here. Oh my god, that was perfect. All right. All right, so we're going to have a few secret entrances in. AI can't swim. No, no, they can, uh, they can swim. Well, it depends on whether they can or not. The rivers are decently dangerous, but uh, you can have people with swimming. No, the problem is that uh, AI can't destroy drawbridges. So, uh, I can just use it to protect myself. Honestly, it's something I wish they'd change about the game. Masterwork had some slight workarounds, but it still was not great. Alright. So that's going to be all good. Let's get... Get down to here. Let's get two levers for this one. So... First one's going to be a second lever for the bridge. Here we go. And then this one is going to be a lever for closing the uh, the escape portal. So, we'll call this one River Bridge. It's linked. Good. 
Okay. Alright, so I think we're in a pretty good position right now. We need, uh... Let's, let's set up another farming area. Just to make sure I don't ever run out of that. Here we go. Oh, nope. Uh, workshops. Farming. There we go. Good. Okay. Oh, God's sake. Hold on. You... Harvest that shit. Get it out of the way. Do I manually clear this area? You know what? Deal with the construction for now. Uh, and dump this. And... And it's bone as well. Good. Dump. Good. Dump. Alright. Petition, what for? Eradicating monsters? Yes! Handy sieged. You may stay. Good, good, good. Okay, beds have been made as well. Alright. God, fuck off. YouTube's like, run ads. No, go away. Let me not run ads. How about that? <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go finish our bedrooms. Oh, who's this? Nope, get out of here. Okay, so bedrooms. Uh, so we need the furniture bed. Yep. Okay. Let's finish this up. So we should have enough. Here we go. Very good. Okay. Alright, so now if we select this entire area, we go bedroom, multi. Here we go. 65 bedrooms created. Holy shit. Okay, oh, there was actually just one I missed. God damn it. Uh, oh, and that one as well I missed. Okay. Oh. So, anything over here I missed? Nope. Just these two. Okay. So now we go bedroom, multi. Oh, hold on. Bedroom, multi. Good. Select those. Done. Okay. Fire ground. Leave us for the membership, mate. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, so those can all close out. All right. That is an insane amount of bedrooms. Let's uh, smooth up the whole area as well. Uh, and then we have... These are the noble bedrooms. They're getting smoothed. Uh, let's start throwing down some furniture. How much... How many cabinets have we got right now? Okay, we don't have many. We only have about 10 cabinets. And uh, how many chests? A lot more chests, at least. Okay, so let's get working on that. So, furniture chest. I'm going to put one in every bedroom. Oh, fuck. That's... God damn it. Whoops. Uh, hold on. Furniture chest. Okay. So, one goes down in every bedroom. Here we go. Ah. That's annoying. Well... Okay, for now we'll stop with that. We'll replace... So we'll place some cabinets in. Here we go. Doop, 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 doop. Very nice. Damn it. Okay, I'm out of cabinets. Alright. Why don't you mind the ores out of rooms and such? Isn't it worth it? No, it's just literally not worth it. Like, it's just not. Unless it was, like, something super valuable, it's really just not worth it. Are we going to get them some cabinets? Bro, I was doing it. Relax. I literally even said, I let me count how many cabinets I got. <laughs> I was uh, pretty sure I was going to give him cabinets. Good. I need even more, though. How many cabinets have we produced so far? I assume just 10 out of the, uh, yeah, well, actually 9. So we need uh, a lot more. Waiting on our masons to, uh, to do that. They're all producing the rock doors and rock cabinets. Alright. Looking good. How goes the ammo bin stuff? Wow, I said you guys are not meant to use bins anymore. You really should have stopped, surely, right? Yeah, it says no bins. That's annoying. Maybe, maybe I have to delete the stockpile. Maybe it's a bit bugged. Let's just get rid of the stockpile. Then I'll put down a new one. It goes like this and doesn't include the bins, like a cheeky little gremlin. Like that. Oh, fuck, hold on. Whoops, hold on. So like this. Here we go. Except, okay, now let's see if this works. I don't know, the bin bins seem real fucking buggy right now, and it's kind of annoying me. Like, 
I just to get, get there's a bunch of arrows in here. Get them out. We need them. And these are really good arrows as well. We bought these. I'm pretty certain. Oh god. Did you name the pit lord? Uh, the pit lord already came with a name, I think. Let me. Uh, oh, hold on. There's some miasma here. Give me a second. I gotta gotta dump all this so we can handle the miasma. Guys, come dump it. Um. Oh yeah, let's put both you guys onto staggered training as well. I don't need you guys training all the time right now. Oh, I know the silver arrows in the bin. I'm just saying, like, I can't get the fucking things out of the bin for some reason. They're just not letting me do it. It's annoying. So, yeah, I don't know. Wait a second. Hold on. Fuck, was there an exploit with arrows? I feel like there was. Let me check something real quick. Dwarf Fortress Melting. I thought you could melt, like, individual arrows and get, uh... And get like more metal out of them than you should be allowed to. Let me quickly check that. Sorry for fucking showing my, my desktop during this, but because of the way the uh the recording software is working right now, I have to do that. Let's see. Ah no. Okay, right. It's it's recovered in tenths. Damn it. Okay. Alright, yeah, so no, it's they've actually it's actually not that. The the exploit doesn't exist. Um it's uh they do it in tenths, so basically, when you burn an arrow, you get 0 0.1, like, counted towards a bar, and when it hits a full one, it spawns a bar at that, uh, at that workshop, so. Sadly, not the way it works anymore. Alright. Uh, let's see here. We have a shit ton of armor here. Look at this. It is sized for goblins. Okay, so you know what that means? It means we start melting it. Anything sized for goblins... We melt, and we can turn into our own armor. It's a big source. We refer to this as goblinite. It's a very good source of metal. Uh, sized for goblins, good. Sized for goblins, yep. Sized for goblins, yep. Leather leggings, are those sized for goblins? Okay, those we can actually just sell. Uh, bronze low boot, sized for goblins. Copper left gauntlet, sized for goblins. There's a crutch here. Oh, chest plate, sized for goblins. Dwarves can wear goblin stuff, I think? No, I don't believe they can. Not the goblin... Uh, they can... They can wear the... So they can use the goblin weapons. I don't think they can wear the goblin armor, though, as far as I'm aware. Um, even if they can, it doesn't really matter. I can just remake this into dwarven stuff anyway. It's like, I have a bunch of smiths, and my smiths are pretty good. I'm about 95% certain they... Wait, they can? Are you certain they can wear these ones? Size for goblins? I'm fairly certain they can't wear goblin armor. All right, let me fucking Google this again. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Do dwarves, goblin armor. Where is it? Uh, I'm. I don't think. No, I, you guys are saying they can. I don't think any of you guys are right. <laughs> let me. No, yeah, as an adventurer is different. Adventurer is different to fort, because adventurer dwarves can do a lot of stuff that fort dwarves can't do, like climbing, for example. Um, I think... Oh, no, hold on. Okay, that says wiki... That's interesting. He says that... Hold on. Size... Let's see. Size of ones for dwarves supplies, all of that appears small... Okay, no, it says, yeah, it says here, Goblins and elves are the same size as dwarves, so their clothing and armor can be equipped rather than limited to being melted. Okay, that's good. Alright, so we can actually equip their armor. The bins are bugged? Yeah, bins are bugged with arrows right now. So cool, they can actually equip the armor. Uh, I'm still gonna melt this stuff down and just make my own armor out of it anyway, because it's not like I need most of this stuff. I can turn it into steel, and, uh, and I can start producing steel. So... Let's melt it all down. Anything else I want? Uh, that should be fine. Okay. Here we go. Uh, where are we? So that's the smelting. I think this is... Is this where we melt gear as well? Yeah, this is where we melt gear. Okay, melt a metal object. Uh, let's go to the blacksmith. Actually, I don't know. Let's go to stocks real quick. And we check 
bars. How many steel are we up to? We've got 46 iron, 27 silver, 132 copper. Okay, we can start mass producing copper. Oh my god. And then steel. Oh yeah. God, we got 12 steel. Okay. So I'm gonna actually produce more steel if I can. Where's my steel production? Uh oh, where is my steel production? Um I might not have. Oh no, make steel bars. Here we go. Okay. I want you to make 30 of them every time. What is uh what is your requirement for this as well? Less than 10? Okay. We'll see if there's less than 15. Make a shit ton of bars for me. Okay. Why would I make bronze when I make steel? I don't I don't want to make bronze. I got I got steel. Steel's great. I love me some good steel. So uh Let's grab, so we've got iron spears, the iron spears are for the front door. Uh, so we're gonna need a bunch of copper bolts. Here we go, we're gonna produce a shit ton of these, because we have loads of copper. Oh, come on. Come on, oh, fuck, come on. The fucking scroller doesn't even work. Uh, we'll make 30 of those, good. Uh, and then we'll go for steel. And we'll start building just like steel armor and shit. So we'll start with steel helms and steel chest. Let's see, what sort of chest pieces have we actually got? Like what ones can we, you know, actually, we, we'll just do this manually at the thing. We go here. Armor, steel. All right, what have we got? So we could build breastplates or male shirts. Now, I think breastplates are better, but are more expensive. Let me check. God, I have to fucking alt tab do this. Uh, breastplate. Here we go. Let me. Okay, cool. Pull that on the screen. Okay, so. Ah, yes, this old little graph. I wanted to find this. Here we go. Okay, so breastplate covers here. Uh, chainmail, which I think is what that was the other option we had. Mail shirt. Oh, no, it's a mail shirt. It's not chainmail. So, shirt. Okay, so that covers there. So, male shirt's actually not a bad choice. Let me check types of armor. Okay. So, yeah, male shirt is upper body, lower body, neck, arms, upper legs. That's pretty good. Let me check. Can I put both on? Breastplates only cover that. Solid pieces are rigid. They're effective uh, against all weapons, but heavier. Okay. Breastplate, yep. Uh-huh. Let's see, armor level. Okay, the armor level of breastplate is three. Male is two. How much materials? Materials is M. Material size is nine, so maybe what they need nine bars? It's not right, is that? It's a lot of bars, hold on. Oh no, it's material size divided by three. Okay, right. So this needs three bars. This needs one, oh, sorry, two bars. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I see bars to make. Here we go. Well. <sighs> I think, I think we go for, uh, for breastplates. Uh, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Considering it's steel. Now nah, let's go for male shirts. We'll build a bunch of male shirts. We can build some breastplates for like our frontliners, but just getting more steel out is probably a better choice. And then for helms, we need one bar each. Okay, super cool. All right, let's do this. So, we'll go male shirts. Steel male shirt. Okay, so we need 10 helms, uh, 10 shirts, that's good. We're also gonna go for some steel, uh, hammer. Oh. Steel? Oh, that's probably war hammer. That's what it'll be called, right? Or... Yeah, steel war hammer. Okay. We'll build, uh, three of those. And then steel spear. We'll build some of these. We'll build, say, two of those. Steel sword, uh, short sword is what I can build. Yeah, short sword, we'll build five of these. 
Uh, then we'll build steel war axe. Oh no, hang on, maybe axe. No, steel axe blade. What a battle axe, that's what we need, there we go. We'll build three steel battle axes. Um, okay, what else do we need? We're, we're like, we're, I'm just building every type of weapon, you know, so that we can know uh, we can cover everything. Build a mace, mace wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I think that's the last thing we'll want. So build some, uh, build some maces, and then we have literally every type of uh, weapon kind of covered. Steel mace, we'll build two of these. All right, after all that, we're gonna build a steel shield as well. Uh, we'll build five steel shields, and then I'll build some steel bucklers if I can. Buckler, nice, okay. We'll build three of those. Okay, shit, stu uh, shit ton of steel production that we need, uh, but we do know what we, uh, what we need to do. Let me improve this production as well. Uh, and it's anytime there's less than 10, make 15, cool. All right. Yeah, I think we know what we've got. Um, Yurton is stumbling, uh, stumbling around again. Mercer has ended a mandate, that's fine. You've grown attached to a steel short sword, that's fine. Does different damage types have different, sorry, different weapons have different damage types? Yes. This is actually a kind of uh, a little trick that Dwarf Fortress has. So there is a type of metal that's very rare in this game. Um, I won't talk too much about it, but it's a, it's a nice secret type of metal that's very good. Um, but the problem is this metal is very sharp and very light. So the obvious thing is when you get like a brand new metal that's really good, in most games you'd be like, well, I'd better make all of my stuff out of this weapon. But if you make hammers out of this metal, right, out of this specific type of metal, they actually won't work. Because the metal is so light that blunt weapons of that type of weapon don't work. You know, it'd be, it'd be like hitting someone with a, wha a whiffle bat, you know? You know, where they're just like, <laughs> you just kind of hit someone and it just won't do any damage to them. Because, you know, there's no mass. You need the mass for a blunt weapon to work. Whereas a knife works without blunt mass. You can use both breastplate and mail shirt at the same time. Yeah, I know, but I'm just trying to cover, like... I'm trying to get as much, sorry, as many dwarves into armor as possible. So I want to make more male shirts rather than just producing blessed plates. Oh my god, there's a demon over there. Thank god he's a bard. Um, but yeah, I love that kind of stuff. You can make, uh, you can make essentially a wiffle bat that is like unbreakable, sharp as hell. Well, it won't be sharp, of course, because, you know, you won't make it sharp, but it could be sharp as hell, light as hell, but it won't do any damage blunt-wise, which is, uh, which is very funny to me, so... You can get whiffle bat, uh, fucking warhammers if you, uh, if you make those accidentally. Let's throw down some cabinets for these guys. Anyone that doesn't have a cabinet will be getting one. Uh, I want you to put your fucking clothes away. Uh, put that there. Good, good, good. God, any more cabinets. Alright, let's go back up to the surface. Honestly, we're doing... Oh, right, okay. <laughs> this is done. Okay, the bathhouse is handled. All right, I was waiting to handle the bathhouse until it had, like, drained during the siege. But, okay, it looks like we can actually handle the bathhouse now. So, what we need to do... We need to widen this area down here, first of all. This is important. So, widen this little reservoir. Then, what I'm going to do is add a pressure plate. Wait, is this not here? Wait a second. Am I, am I blind? I don't know. Maybe cage? No, maybe traps? Pressure plate, aha! Okay. Right, so we're gonna take a pressure plate and we're gonna put down here and we're gonna use this as a water depth trigger. So when we hit six water at this location, ah, why are we blocked here? Okay, when we hit six water at this location, it will turn the pump off. So the idea is that as soon as this lower area... Actually, you know what? I can actually... Forget forget the uh, deconstruction now. If I can do this with mechanical method, this might work better. So what this will do is it will turn the pump off every time it hits... Uh, what do you call it? Too much water. So this should... Should prevent our bathhouse from flooding. Um, and thankfully, we've also unknowingly built a little farm out back. So I'm going to put a little farm out here. Here we go. There we go. Little little farm out here. Look at that. Are you talking about hidden fun stuff? Yes. Yes, we were. 
Um, yes, you are 100% correct, Smack, because the hammerer, you can give them the wiffle bat, and then the hammerer won't actually be able to, like, kill anyone. All right. What's with the blood baths? Uh, that's actually people cleaning themselves. So that, that was people washing blood off of themselves using the water that was on the area. Um, don't worry, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, pressure plates down here. So when this hits six water, it should turn on and it should activate this up, uh, this top area, basically. And so what it will do, it'll turn off this gear assembly and it will stop the pump. So for now, I'm going to leave this, this floodgate open just to make sure we can pump out anything we don't need. Uh, I'm going to open the southern floodgate. Oh, no, no, no. Pull the lever. This is super important. Why is it paused? What? Hold on a second. Okay, you can pause this for now. Why was that one paused? Please, please complete the job. Come on. So the whole idea is that when we drop water down here, it will mist the baths, which dwarves love. It won't overflow because of the uh, the pressure plate here telling it to turn off every time it hits too high of a water pressure. Uh, at least, you know, that's the theory. We'll have to make sure that's how it's going to work. Um, and the bath itself can get filled up when we close the bridge. Come on, guys. Who's the, who's the mechanic handling this? Come on. Oh, we might not be able to reach the micro line. Oh, fuck. Hold on. That'll be the reason. Dismantle that. Um, okay. Cook. Stray war dog was found dead. Oh. My god. Erst made so many masterpieces. Look at that. Alright. Oh, fuck. Link. Do it. Can't wait for this to get deconstructed. Come on. I find it hilarious that the one thing dwarves love more in the world than, uh, more than anything else in the world is a bit of water mist. Yeah, they adore mist. They're like, bro, you've seen mist? You ever had water lightly drift on your face? Shit is orgasmic. They, they love mist. All right. Don't you like water mist? I actually do. Tell you what, do your guys' teachers ever do this? All right, I swear to God, this is like, this just goes to show how much, like, uh, schooling primary school wasn't, but... Our primary school teacher, when uh, whenever she wanted to like calm us down or it was a hot day or, you know, we were just being little shits, you know, she would do this thing where she would get us all to lie down and just like, and, and, and it was, uh, it was called Dead Fish. All right. It was, the game was called Dead Fish. And here's the game of Dead Fish. You have to lie as still as possible. That's the game. All right. Now, now that might sound insane as, as a game, but you gotta understand as kids, this was a highly competitive game. We had to stay as still as possible. All right. And, and I think my teacher was a genius for this because Jesus Christ, what a good game to invent for kids to play, right? Now, here's what she would do, all right? You would go around and as long as you were staying still and quiet and lying there and, you know, and, and practically falling asleep on the floor of the school, you know, it's great, right? We, <laughs> she would walk around with a water bottle and she would just spray mist over, over you. And it was the nicest shit I think I could possibly... Like, I don't know how to describe how beautiful that feels. Lying down on the ground while someone shoots a water mist bottle over your head, like far enough over your head that it's not getting you like soaked, but it's like drifting down gently, you know? You're getting a nice, getting a nice little mist, all right? I fully understand why the dwarves love it, okay? Because <laughs> it was like a competition. Oh, sorry, I just got to hold tab real quick. Um, here we go. Uh, uh, there we go. All right. Uh, okay. Sorry, let me get back. All right. There we go. Uh, we call that sleeping lions here in England. <laughs> yeah, no, it's called dead fish around here. So, uh, hold on. Let's check. Okay. You're active. Good. All right, I think we're good. Okay, all right, we're gonna start the uh, the production again. Here we go. Pull the lever. Um, but yeah, they would just uh, she would walk around and fucking mist us all with uh, 
with her little uh, water bottle, and it was the nicest shit. And if you if you moved, you got taken out of the game. You weren't allowed to get misted anymore. So, <laughs> as long as you stayed as still as possible, you could get as much mist as you wanted. That shit was awesome. It was uh, it was really nice when it was boiling hot outside as well, as it, as it often was. Uh, we didn't really have air conditioners back then, so we just kind of closed the. Uh... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Closed the the window and prayed. Okay. Water goes down to here. Okay. Oh, fuck. We got a little bit of an overflow. Okay. But we hit five. So. How long until you activate? Okay. Dis oh, that was pretty quick. Okay. Wait for it. Okay. Active again. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Okay. Calm down. Oh, okay. It's a little... Hmm, I might have to lower how much... Uh, what do you call it? This guy is getting misted for. Hold on. I might have to... Actually, I might have to move where the thing is. I might have to put it down, the, down like on the main. Hold on. Okay. Let me, uh, let me briefly check something. I have to make certain. Um, oh! Oh, wait a second. Oh! There you go, sorry. <laughs> Just messaging someone and trying to figure something out. There we go, move that to there. Okay, there we go, sorry. Message is sent. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so back, right. Clearly this thing isn't working perfectly. It's working, but not the way I want. It's still creating this stuff here. This sort of overflow is the problem. So, we're gonna turn off the, uh, the lever again. Here we go. We're going to... Floodgate north? Floodgate south? Let's... Hmm. Let's close the north floodgate as well. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to leave it for now. Okay. So. Uh, instead, let's knock that open. We'll dismantle this one. We'll take away that one. There we go. And then we have a slope here. Here, which should let us move in. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm actually going to build a little access hatch as well. So let's go over here and put an access hatch in. And move that to there. That'll just let us access it in the future. Um, but basically the problem is right now, big issue with the game right now, is these pumps move too much water too fast. They move water at a fucking... Like, a, a truly ludicrous scale. Like, imagine a dam gets breached. That's how fast water flows out of these goddamn pumps. It's insane. So, uh... So, the problem is that the, uh... What do you call it? The thing floods down here. Oh, Greg, actually, I remember you asking that. Sorry I didn't get to answer that. I'm pretty sure I got distracted in the middle of that thing. Um, Greg, you... Uh, I get more money... Fuck, um, the, the way I would get the most money probably is a direct donation from stream elements, like using the, the tip link. I think that's the way I get the most money. After that, Twitch gives the worst cut right now. Um, YouTube gives a better cut when it comes to direct donations. Uh, so like super chats are better than bits. Bits are good in that I get 100% of the bit, but you have to pay like... I think, I think you have to pay like a 40% or like a 50% fee on bits. So, so Twitch takes a huge cut out of that. I think if you wanted like statistically like the least cut going to a website, the most going to the YouTuber, I think direct donations using like the tip link is the best way to do that. Um, can't you build how you call it flow through tiles? Not really. That's the problem. Uh, they are like the water flow is so fast. It's kind of a problem. Oh, this boy's being possessed. Let's see. Mm 
There we go. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the pumps are basically just too big. Any any expansion down here is just going to be a, like a delaying action kind of thing. It's just going to, you know, it will be a problem. I'm just making it a problem further down the line. So what I'm trying to do instead, uh, let's put a nice masterwork door there. What I'm trying to do instead is basically open up the area so there's a bit more of a, you know, a bit more of a kind of leeway with this open area here. But then I'm going to put the pressure plate directly underneath so that when it hits seven, it will turn off. So it should make this pump turn on and off constantly, basically. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, the, the pump right now is so strong, I have to redesign how I'm doing this. Is it dwarves or dwarfs? So for uh, dwarf fortress, it's actually dwarfs, uh, but there is also dwarfs, I think, is more correct. Dwarves is the least correct, and uh, according to Tolkien, is incorrect as well. Because he, he uses, I think, dwarfs in his writing, if I recall rightly. Um, right. Okay, so now we put the pressure plate under here instead. And I'm going to set this to trigger at just five water. So five water is enough to trigger this. Because you know what? Four isn't. Oh! Oh! I'm stupid. I have to set it to trigger on the lower levels as well. I didn't I, I didn't realize. I thought it was like, you know, oh, just this. No. Right, I see. Okay. So it's set from one from one to five. Actually, fuck, hold on. No, no, wait, sorry, sorry, other way around. So from four to seven, it will activate. Okay, gotcha. Right, that's much better. Do you wanna go? I could go from five. You know, I'm gonna go for four to seven. I'm just gonna play it safe for now. So four to seven. Let's see how this works. Okay. So we have our little construction area down here. Looking good. Okay, pressure plates down. Link that with the gear. Fuck, I put the wall back up. Whoops. There we go. I noticed the barrel doesn't cover the entire base area. Uh, it's literally just because the base ex is expanding. Every time I expand the base, I have to remember to expand the burrow. And the burrow isn't actually used for anything. The burrow is specifically used to run away when a siege comes. That's what the burrow is for. Um, okay. Let's put down some more traps as well. Because I should have enough spears now for the next one. Yes! 32 iron spears. Okay, so each trap is going to have five iron spears. Here we go. Five iron spears. Booyah. Okay, cool. So all of those traps are down. We have stone falls around us there. Uh, I'm going to throw in some more cage traps as well. Just on the far side. Like this. Just to really ensure that anyone gets through gets caught. Um, is there anything else I want to do? Got... Oh my god, we have a bunch of monitor lizards and warthogs in traps over here. Hold on, we can throw them into the pit! The human hasn't eaten in a while. Hold on, here we go. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oops. Throw the warthogs into the pit! And the monitor lizard. I'm pretty sure this is the same kind of uh, monitor lizard that killed a demon. So I think those things are pretty tough. Okay, we'll put away all of our uh, pets here as well. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Make sure to dump some of these skeletons as well. We'll clean up the general area. Come on, it's disgusting up here. Oh, which ghost was that? Let me go, uh, let me go make sure we don't have any ghosts haunting us that we need to memorialize. Oh yeah, we have a ghost. Oh shit, okay. Engrave him. There we go. Okay. Okay, so they're gonna move the warthogs, I think. Yep, there we go. Warthog moving is beginning. 
Oh, the cook, Yurton, is once again mad. The, ad the administrator is fighting with a... Oh, he's hunting, I see. Okay. Let me actually quickly go through, and I'm just going to unforbid all ammunition ever. To make my dwarves go collect it real quick. Come on. Oh my god, how many types of ammo do we need? Oh my god! Okay, I feel like I may have overcompensated for my ammo production woes. Holy shit, okay. Everything is going to be unforbidden. Here we go. This will hopefully make everyone go, uh... Go pick up as much ammo as they can. Alright, holy shit. How goes my general forts, uh, jobs? Eh, we got some guys who don't have jobs right now. You guys really should be, you should be doing some work. We got jobs for everyone. No, no need for unemployment in this place, okay. Let's look at the kitchen real quick. Um, brewing, uh, brewing, that's fine. Cool, cool. Cool. Seeds aren't being used, that's fine. You're not being used, good. You're being used, okay, cool. Uh, let's see. So, animals. We want to chop up some of these. Let's go pets and livestock. Okay, here's all the named pets. We're not meant to eat these ones. Okay, and then these are the animals. Right. Stray billy goats. We've got too many of these. Chop some of them up. There we go. Stray bear? Oh, wait. That's right. Yeah, we named an alpaca bear. It's just an alpaca. Don't worry. It's not actually a bear. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, bunch of buck rabbits. Okay, we're going to eat a bunch of you. Definitely need to chop down on how many of you we've got. Holy shit. Bunch of bunnies. Okay, a bull, bull calf, right? Uh, let's just chop up some bunnies. No need to let those grow up. Cats. Oh, Jesus. All right. Chop down on a few of these cats. We don't need so many. Uh, cavy boars. Let's kill a few of those. Okay, a bunch of cavy pups. We'll chop those up because they're pretty numerous. Cavy sows. All right, let's get a few of those. Couple of doe rabbits. I really wish I could set a work order for this. Okay, let's chop up some of the top dogs because we have way too many. Oh my god. And then the rest, we're going to train as war dogs. Oh my god. Let's put two hunting dogs in as well and then war dogs. A lot of dogs. All right, chop up some goats. Hens. Okay, we have horses. Wow, we actually have a lot of horses as well. I'm going to chop up a breeding horse and a male horse as well. Okay, here's some hunting dogs. Stray Jeff, that's the reindeer. Uh, okay, and then some nanny goats. We can chop up some of these. War dogs. Oh my god, we have so many. Okay, I'm actually going to start doing this. Just because we have a ludicrous amount of war dogs, I'm going to start assigning them to people. And what this should hopefully do is when they get, like, randomly attacked by goblins... Oh, Scoots now has two of them. They should be protected by this, uh, by this dog. So, congratulations. Everyone is getting some protection. Here we go. Everyone with a name, at least, is getting some, like, war horse protection. Oh. Let's see. The K9 core. There's Albrick. Uh, Dirt Belter. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's getting some. Uh, GG Sam's already got some. Kronk needs one there. Okay. Just really dish out as many of these as possible. It's going to help keep them safe from uh, from random ambushes. You know what? Hey, the human maceman can have one as well, sure. And uh, and the human swordsman. And the human hammerman. Here we go. The humans get some dogs. Uh, Rick Peterson gets one. Let's see. One cooler guy. I just have a ludicrous amount of war dogs. Like, I don't need this many, so I might as well... Assign him to guard some people. Okay. And Ashley. There we go. Alright. Bunch of war dogs assigned out. They'll keep people safe. Nice. Okay. God, we need to clean this area. Uh, how goes pressure plate? Pressure plate is linked. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Open up the southern gate. I'm going to close the northern gate as well. Uh, let's see real quick. What are you actually linked to? Are oh, you linked to this one? Okay.
Let's see. Come on, come pull the levers. God damn. Ugh, we're such a long walk for the levers. Alright, this should be it. Oh no, you're not it. Oh yeah, let's make sure we forbid this door as well. Okay. Okay, good. Lever. Okay, good. Alright, let's watch. So, water. Okay, turns off. Good. I think it's working. I think it's working! It's working! My creation is working! Excellent. Alright, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, it's working as intended. God, all right. Let's let's uh, let's close the bridge so that we'll actually fill the bath now. Here we go. So we'll fill the bath up and then, uh, and then we're good. Yeah, holy shit. We actually have a functional bathhouse. Come on, someone come pull this lever, please. Oh my god, come on. Alright, here we go. So that's gonna close the bridge over the mist hole. See? And now, when the water flows in, which it does, it's going to flood the actual bath itself. I'm going to tell you to pull this lever again. So now the bath is actually getting water. Wait. Looking good. Looking good. Very nice. Okay. So we're definitely going to need to empty that a little bit. So let's open up the north lever. Okay, it's, it's starting to flood, unfortunately. Well, such is life with the lever pulling, but anyway. There is a cat currently getting drowned in here. It's alright, it's alright, kitty. You'll figure it out. Don't worry. Just get out of the bath for now. We need to finish filling the bath. Come on. God, open up that north bridge, would you? I, t I told you to pull the lever, so pull it before we get the baths flooded again. Oh, they're opening the door. These fools. Please, just, just pull the lever. Just let me empty the bath, please. Okay, good. All right, good. The, the bath is now going to get emptied. So we wait for a little bit. Wait until it starts to kind of empty out a little bit more. Because it's getting pumped out at, at the north bit here. So we don't want sevens because those will drown our dwarves. We want higher than fours. Okay, that looks good. So now we close the northern gate again. Come on. Pull the lever. Please, someone get to the lever quickly this time. Okay, good. Someone's heading for it. Come on. You know what? Can I actually turn off that northern pump? I can't, damn it. Come on. It's above four still. It's above four. Come on, pull the lever. It's really important the lever gets pulled right now. Come on. Come on. Please, for the love of God, someone get up here and pull this. You! Ah, it's not him! Fuck! Ah, oh, we're starting to get a three. Come on! This is so frustrating! Okay, that's it. I'm fucking- I'm done. I'm done with this. Right. That's it. I'm officially assigning one of you guys to the fuck you. You're staying up here, burrow. Okay. Accept. Refer to this burrow as the fuck you. Pull lever. There we go. Right. Fuck you, pull lever. Guess what? Uh... Fucking... GG, Sam. Congratulations. You are now this man. Uh... Okay. Cool. So get your, butter, get your butt up here. Here we go. Fuck. It's now three and four. Hmm. No, we, ha we have dwarves called Kronk already, but, uh... 
All right, let's wait for this dwarf to get up here. Come on. Where is he? What was his name again? Fucking, uh, oh no. What was your name? GG Sam, okay. All right, is he up here now? All right, he's up here, good. Okay, so we're going to pull the mist lever briefly. Go. Surely you can do that. Good. Okay. Pull the mist lever. So this should mean that water flows into... Okay, good, good. Now pull the mist lever again. Just that easy. Come on. Go do it. Okay, and... Oh, okay, wait, now it's too high. All right, so we pull the... Floodgate North Lever. Okay. Listen, until this bath is sorted out, you don't get to leave. You keep pulling the levers until I'm satisfied. Okay, we need to wait until there's no sevens in here. Okay, the sevens are flowing out. Because it's only a seven that can drown a dwarf. Okay, good. Okay, no more sevens. Right, now pull the lever. Perfect! Mwah! Beautiful! Fives, fours, that is a nice full bath with a flowing mist generator. Okay, you can officially uh, move off of the fuck you one now. You can you can leave this now. Here we go. Let me, uh, let me unassign him. There we go. Okay. Ain't that beautiful? All right. Here we go. We now have a fully automated mist machine. There's a fucking lungfish in the way. God damn it. Move out of the way. I'm trying to show my cool mist machine. So it flows down here. Shoots out mist. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What is this? Get out of here. Okay, slaughtering. That's fine. Stray animals. Yep. Slaughtering. Fighting. Oh, we got fucking ghosts. Here we go. Oh, what do you need? Stone rock? Rough color? Cloth thread? Tree life. Oh god, you're gonna go insane, aren't you? I don't know what I, if I can get you the stuff you need. I'm sorry, brother. Okay, let's, uh... Put some ghosts on slabs. Okay. Ghost. And ghost. Okay, so we've got both ghosts handled. Is there anything? No, okay. So you guys, rock slab. No, slab. Rock slab. Let's build a couple of these, just so we have them. Uh, I'm gonna make these top priority. Uh, and... Okay, that'll be good. Alright, cool. God, the fucking guy- It's called the Ghost Dwarf is staring at the, uh, the guy making his slab. Alright. So that's all good. Uh, our dwarves up- Oh, why the fuck is there Miasma up here? Right, please dump the rotten food you took to your bedroom, you fucking weirdo. And now everyone, smooth this, good. Okay. Uh, let's go do a quick check on our escape tunnels. Aha! Oh, I forgot there was an aquifer here. So there is. Interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, just build a bridge over it. Here we go. Oh, that's not how I wanted it. Hold on. Okay, we're good. All right. <coughs> All right, enough fire dog. Enough. Oh, God. 
All right. So, this boy has got that. Let's throw down some doors here as well. Two doors there. Door here. Uh, door there. Door there. I'm going to put as many doors down as I can just to keep the, uh, the unwanted out. Here we go. Door here. Door there. Door there. Door there. Door there. Thing is, in a, in the case of a siege, it slows them down as well. Enough, fire dog. Enough. We know the song. We all do. All right. I'm fucking part of the Yogscast. I'm pretty certain we know the song. All right. There we go. Turn that one on. Okay. Cool. So. We now have doors in every direction. Looks good. Okay. So it's like Gaia Rimworld. Damn, I, what's it like being so fucking wrong? What's it What's it like living like that? What's it like living, living that kind of life, dude? <laughs> fucking hell. Good. All right, take a break. You've had enough warnings. There we go. This is a floodable entranceway? No. Uh, this is basically an escape tunnel. So what we've got here is we've got a bunch of methods to go around here, then push in uh, and basically get into this area over the bridge, run into the fort. Uh, it basically, we have issues of people not getting to the fort in time, which is quite frustrating. So this will get this gives a backup way to get inside and uh, and hide away. There we go. All right. Well, as soon as this bridge down here has finished construction, uh, we'll probably pull this main lever here. Do I really need? Uh, I might not need that. Can't en enemies enter the tunnel? Uh, they can if they can destroy the doors, which is decently rare. You need, like, trolls and shit for that. But even if they did break into the tunnel, I have these bridges, which I would then just close, and then the tunnel's safe. So, not exactly a problem. Oh, yeah. Let me, uh... Oh, actually, no. I'm gonna leave this ammo stockpile here. In fact, I'll even expand it. Let's, uh... Let's expand it up like so. Down like so. And this is where we store a bunch of ammo for our dwarves who are fighting in the uh, in the turrets. Can't enemies just walk along the slopes of the uh, river to get in the tunnel? Only if they can swim. Uh, if they if they can't, they're fucked. And I mean, even if they did, the bridge lifts so it forms a solid wall so they can't get in. So it's always going to be safe. Um, what I could even do. Is this smooth? Oh, no, it's sandy clay. Okay, never mind. Alright, so now we just wait for all this stuff to get built. And, uh... Let's see. Okay, we've got... Oh, I wanted slabs. Are those finished yet? Can I go put those down? Oh, looks like we finished the slabs. Okay, let's hopefully throw these down. Oh. Oh, fuck, hold on. Oh, damn it, hold on. Ah, close that one up. Okay. Furniture. Slab. Select material. Uh, there we go. Men, good. And you, good. Alright. So those goblins, so those, uh, ghosts have been dealt with. Dump that down there. Uh, oh, yep. There's our, all, our all of our ammo. Unforbid that. Good. For fuck, who else is letting rotten shit exist in their bedroom? Dump this stuff. Ooh. Stop taking rotten food to your bedrooms. God. All right. All the blood splotches is a bit off-putting. That's really the reason you wouldn't buy this game? Is there a way to mop that up? Uh, only if it's inside of your fort. Not if it's outside. Uh, your dwarves won't mop up, like, just dirt outside, you know? Oh, imposed a ban on certain exports. It's probably catapult parts. It's always fucking catapult parts. Okay. Hey, both of those dwarves put to rest. Good. Easy meal. Um, so yeah, if you go to the labor, you can go... Standing orders. Where are we? 
Shores, I think. Is that? No, no, it's not Shores. Other. Mm, where is it? Yeah, I thought it was a way you'd actually clean, but anyway, yeah. Um, I think you only ever clean inside of your fort, basically. So, your, your dwarves are never going to clean, like, the dirt on the top, which is what this is. Oh! Ah! Uh, ah, uh, what? A demon of Degnu Scholar. By the way, there's a bunch of dead warthogs. This human continues to win. He's actually unwounded so far. But, uh... Holy shit. There's just a demon hovering over the pit, looking at him, writing books, I guess. It's a scholar. Wow. You had to work like mining? Is it's actually in there? Let me go check. Uh, work details. Orderlies, let's go. New work detail. Yeah, cleaning. Yeah, the thing is, though, I don't know... The, the cleaning job, I think... Is that covered by... You know, I'm just going to set, like, the cleaning job, and I'll see if anyone does this. Let's just see it. But I don't think it cleans outside of the fortress. I shall refer to this as janitor. Uh, so, I'm going to say only selected will do this. Janitor, your one job is to clean and operate levers. Uh, let's see. So if I set, say, just some random peasant. Who we got? You? What are you? Congratulations. You are now on this work detail, Mr. Random Peasant. Oh, you're actually... Fuck, you're actually a really important person. Why do you call a peasant? You're a fucking high master wound dresser. Hold on, let me, uh... Hmm. You, Glazier. I never use you anyway, so congratulations. You are now this guy. You will only do that matching your assignments. Good. Okay, so let's... We want to find Nish Zonaban. Nish Zonaban. So, sort by name. Nish. Allow us to follow him. Alright, we're going to follow this guy for a little bit. Here we go. Recruit the demon into my army? I can't. So, what's he doing? He's building a bridge right now. That's fine. But let's see what, what happens when he starts cleaning. I'm going to name this boy, uh... Hold on. Janny. Oh, yeah, no, that'll be his job title. Uh, I'm going to call him Unpaid Labor. There we go. All right. So let's see what this boy does. Once he finishes building his bridge. Ugh, big stretch. Come on, dude. God, you're taking forever to build this bridge. The game, I had to keep checking, the game's unpaused. It definitely is. Yeah, he's just taken literally a billion years to build this bridge. Come on, dude. What are you doing? Oh my god. It's becoming comical now. Like, it's... <laughs> the game isn't, like, locking up, is it, right? Like, nope. Game's still working. Okay. Well, dude, just take forever to build a bridge, I guess. Okay. Well, oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, so what are you going to go do? You have no job right now. His only thing is to clean. So... I don't think he has anything he wants to clean right now. Yeah, looks like he's uh, he's not going to go clean upstairs. I'll follow him and see if he goes anywhere, but... Maybe maybe he's just going to try to go for food. Maybe that's it. Maybe he's going to go eat first. What are you doing, brother? Where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, he's turned around. I guess he's actually literally just wandering. Oh, 
Oh, is he going to clean? Nope, he's going to the library. Okay. Well. <sighs> yeah. Well, no cleaning up here, I guess. He's going to go clean himself. That's the one thing he'll do. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we can force them to clean the blood up top, unfortunately. Ah, well. Such is life. Alright. Let's, uh, let's delete this. How do I get rid of this? Nice. Okay. Well, the mist production continues as usual. Oh, hold on. Why is there not a door here? Let's put a door down right here. I want to be a good door as well. Damn, I don't have a masterwork one. Alright, fuck it. Just put a micro line in. No, YouTube. I do not want to run ads. Go away. Stop. Right, there we go. Okay, so. Let's run through everything we've got now. Now that we've, uh, we've set all that up. So, we have our traps. They have all been established. Our defenses are here and good. Very nice. Uh... We have all of the ammo we need as well. Uh, cage traps are set up. The human has fought many warthogs and continues to live. Very good. Is there... Oh, there's a wild boar we could throw down. Let's throw down some other stuff down into the human. A couple of wild boars for the human to fight. Sounds fun. This human is becoming a scary person, honestly. Let's see what is what his skills now. He's become proficient as a swordsman. At this point, I'm just training him. Uh, so we've got the human down there. Why is there a human in there? He tried to steal from me. We locked him in the pit. Uh, let's set up a lever for this bridge. So down here, in the corner, I'm going to set that one is going to be the in-close one. Good. And this one is going to be the right side unlocker. Okay. Actually, we'll move them close together. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, machines, lever. Good, okay. So what is this linked to? Ah, oh, currently not linked to anything. Oh, right, because I was going to change... Oh, oops, hang on, yeah, that, never mind. Okay, I've actually already got the levers built. Okay, so... So this one, we're going to call this, uh... River Canyon Bridge. Alright, because we've got... River Bridge, River Canyon Bridge. Okay. So link this one to that bridge. Good. And then we call this uh, the Escape Cutoff Bridge. And we're going to link this to the Escape tr uh, Bridges. There we go. Uh, humans won't actually starve. Sorry, invaders and, like, people in your fort, they won't starve. So the human actually can't starve to death. Diplomacy. Nothing. Okay, that's continued to be bogged. Oh, well. Tell you what, I think we're doing pretty good here. What we're gonna do, uh, since we've got the time and we have all of the, uh, all of the dwarves, let's go back to the world map. Let's go to the tower that we always raid, which is known as the Scorching Land. We're gonna send all of our guys here. And we're just going to pillage. Uh, we're going to pillage and openly attack the site. Hopefully kill some of the, uh, some of the guys there. Alright, Godspeed and good luck. I'm going to send my, uh, my guys off to do that. <sighs> oh, what's happening with my little bath? What's, what's, uh, what's happening here, brother? I'm going to overflow a little, did you? Oh, fuck! Why? Ah! Oh! It was perfect! Fuck. Alright. Pull the lever. <sighs> Let me keep an eye on this. What went wrong? I think there was... This water level got too low. It must have done. <sighs> okay, those guys are all moving out. Good. Hey, migrants arrived. Holy shit. Hmm. Okay, good. Pull this lever again to close it. Hmm. 
Well, we'll see. Let's, uh... Huh... It's a good bath. You just need it to not get overfilled. Maybe I should actually fill in this area now that the pressure plate does work. Hmm. Yeah. There is no controlling the lungfish population. It's, uh, oh, the Teal Hall wants a woodworker's guild. Sure. Uh, the... What do you call it? Um, lungfish are vermin, so they just spawn out of thin air. Okay. So you are the metalsmith guild. You're the fishery workers. You're the woodworkers. So I need to upgrade this to the point that it's actually good. Alright. Short pedestal. Assign a new item to be displayed. And I guess I'll just put, like, a very cool sword on here, or something. Uh... Yeah, let's put a... a masterwork iron spear on this, sure. And then we'll put some more furniture in. Uh, a statue. Sure. Chalk statue. Chalk statue. That should be enough, right? You guys don't need anything else, right? Um... Fuck, I have stuffed your room full. I'm sure that'll be enough. Okay. <coughs> Alright. One, six, seven, five. You might need a second pedestal as well. Let's put down... Adventure... Display... God, I might actually have to expand the guild hall out a little. Maybe I have to put some more fucking chests in. Come on, where's a masterwork? Masterwork, good. Okay. Good, spears on the area. Is this considered a guild hall yet? Oh, it's so close. Come on. Come on. Another spear and we're all good. Okay, I think this guy's dragging a statue with him right now. That's why he's so slow. Wait for it. Oh my god, it's a statue of purring maggots. Ugh. But alright. Guild hole. Nice. Alright, petition completed. Uh, let's see what we got here. Sweet pods, we'll plant those. Pigtails, we'll plant those. Pigtails, plant those. Good. And then leave fallow. Um, let's go back to the caverns. How goes the cavern growth? Oh, it's working. Cool, cool. Alright. Oh my god. Okay, let's uh, keep chopping some of this up. Very nice, good. Bitumous coal, good. And up here, there we go. Grab that. Alright, cool. I think that's everything we need. Oh, don't worry. BR, you want to talk about dumb guild halls? The Metalsmith Guild Hall has a single loot on a stand, and it is therefore the richest guild hall. 17,000 value. It is the richest thing in the entire fortress. I don't know what it has to do with metalsmithing, but it does give them the best guild hall ever. I'm gonna, uh, I'm actually gonna open up the guild hall to, uh, to citizens as well, just so they can come look at the, uh, at the thing. And tell you what, I'm actually gonna put a, a rope down here, specifically to stop people from getting in here to seal my shit. Oh, hang on, there's a war dog. War dog there, good.
Uh, let's see. Let's go to here. Okay, War dog can be assigned there. Let's... Didn't I have another rope somewhere? Oh yeah, over here I want a rope. So, rope chain, good. Put it here. Pigtails, nice. You got a hole of guild holes? Goddamn right I do. Um, let's see. Yeah, guild hall completed. There we go. Guild hall agreement has been satisfied. Nice. Okay. Real good. How's the elephant doing? It's still alive. It's it's doing okay. Looking good. The elephant is not gone. Why would you lie? All right. So. Let me, uh, here we go. Papa Junior. Here he is. He's just vibing around. Hanging out up here. He's annoyed that he was caught in the rain. There you go. He's covered in some dog blood. Alright. How goes this? Oh my god. Did you kill the wild boars as well? How is this man unwounded? How does he avoid all damage? Oh my god. Oh no, his left hand is dented and his neck is dented. There we go. We just throw more shit down. Come on, fire dog. You just got off your timeout. Don't be silly. Let's throw down some more wild boars. I think he needs more. Okay. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, how goes this? So, damn it, it's definitely getting watering again. Hmm. Hmm. Now nah, they're surviving the fall. They're just getting chopped up by him. He's a very good. Uh, he's a very very competent fighter, it seems. Uh, right. Let's open up this top one again. Okay, pull this one as well. Close off the flood. Close off the bath again. I'm gonna change how I'm working this bath. I need to close these walls in a bit, and that might improve the uh, the pressure plate. Actually. Maybe if we lower the pressure plate to three, that might be the other uh, best choice. So, unlock that. <coughs> and we'll see, uh... We'll see if we can change this and make this work finally. Oh, wild boar's fighting. Here we go. I oh, know the wild boar's being hunted in this case. Oh dear. Never mind. Hmm. Oh, now the human's fighting a wild boar. Here we go. Here we go. Wild boar's alive. Oh, it's in heavy pain. Oh dear. Wow, the human is somehow doing just fine. Where's her health? Yeah, wow, human killed another boar. Well, this pit is horrible, I must say. Oh god, alright. Okay, so dismantle this pressure plate. Okay, come on dude, dismantle the pressure plate. There we go, good. Come on, dismantle the pressure plate. Okay, good. Right, now, cage traps. Uh, let's go water triggers. Okay, water is going to trigger even at just three. So three to seven will trigger the uh, the thing to turn off. Okay, wait. God, just got to wait until there's not fucking water here anymore. Come on. 
can't believe one tile of water prevents me from fucking placing it. Come on. Come on. Waiting for the baths to dry up. Any moment now. God, come on, please. <sighs> oh, hey, he began his mysterious construction. Nice. Tetrahedrite's done. Good. Struck coal. Yurton's wandering around again. Oh, come on. Nope, the rooster's in the bath now. just want my bath to work correctly. Please. Alright, I'm gonna leave that for a bit to dry up. It's gonna take forever, it seems. Okay. For now, let's uh, just do a pass over every other objective we've got. So the pit is doing okay. We're still throwing shit down there. The bridges have all been built. They've been linked to their uh, levers. Good. Okay, we have doors all around the place to stop uh, cheeky people just sneaking on in. Uh, pigtail rope is down, so we can now put a war dog on that. There we go. Is this still going to do this? Hold on. Ah, it is. God damn it. All right, fuck it. Let's just live live with a hole in it. That's fine. Um, and then we go... Okay. Oh, that's a rotten stray billy goat nervous tissue. Let's start dumping this shit. Oh no. There's goblin in a trench coat skeleton. Okay. So those are all getting dumped. Okay, unnamed tomb, yep. That tomb isn't claimed by someone, right? Nah, okay, good. Let's throw down some more coffins. Here we go. Good, good, good. Okay, three more coffins. And we'll put three more doors. Okay. I think our fortress is honestly living pretty well right now. Let me do some quick math. So, one, two, three, okay, that's five. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have 100 bedrooms down here. I didn't miscount that, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, 100 bedrooms down here. Up here, we must have enough bedrooms. My god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so 22, 40... Yeah, okay, so, yeah. We have more than enough. Oh! You made a door out of coal. Alright, you fucking weirdo. Anyway, um, alright. Looks like we have, uh, shit tons of bedrooms, so... Wait, in stocks we have bedrooms? What? Really? I don't see... How many beds are in use in stocks? Where do, like, how do I... It's the orange number, I think? Is it? That's normally... That wouldn't match up. That orange number wouldn't make any sense. That's normally, uh, like, stuff that couldn't be counted yet. Because... Oh, maybe, maybe it would match... No, that's not gonna... Maybe it is... Yeah, maybe that is number of beds placed. Because if I go for, like... That's 44. That's 88. So that's, like, 188 plus that. Maybe... Maybe? That seems, it still seems, like, a little bit too much. But maybe including some other areas. Maybe, yeah, maybe that is, like, the number of beds placed. I'm not 100% certain on it, but... Well, either way, we have more than enough beds. So, we're good for bedding for now. 
All right. Uh, how about our cabinets and chests? How goes production of those? Lots of cabinets. Very good. And chests. Lots of chests. Okay. Don't care. We're going to go through it. We're going to give as many people as we can cabinets and chests. So, here we go. Here we go. There we go, sorry. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Good, good, good. Keep throwing these chests down. Here we go. Hopefully make the dwarves a little happier as well. Time to Oprah this furniture? You're goddamn right. You get a chest! You get a chest! Everybody gets a chest! Alright, uh... Oh, fuck, on, I put those on the wrong side. Whoops. Okay, more chests. More chests must be given out. More chests. Okay. We ain't done just yet. We got more chests to give. Good God, what I would give for a quick way to place all of these. Oh my God, come on. More. More chests. I honestly thought, ah, I finally run out. Okay, right. Now we start again from the other side. And we go cabinet. And we start doing it again. Okay. Oh, shit. Misplaced that one. Holy shit. Okay, cabinets there. Good. Cabinet, cabinet, good. Cabinet, yep, good. Good, good, good. Oh, that guy didn't get a chest. I'll see if I can't get one for him now. Furniture chest. Go, okay, fuck, no, no access. Okay, right. Whew. Okay, furniture cabinet. Keep on keeping on. My god. So many cabinets for all of you. Oh, and there we go. Okay. <sighs> all right. Oh my God. So many of them. Ugh. All right. What the fuck are you saying, Sol? Bit with the spam. All right. Well, you're going. Goodbye, dude. Later, idiot. All right. Hey, human axeman was spotted sneaking around. <gasps> a new man for the pit? Hey, buddy. Let me, uh, let me send my boys out to go. Oh, wait, they're going to pillage Odisax right now. They're going out to do their job. Holy shit. Have they already left for it? I think they have. I think they've already gone out to pillage Odisax. Okay. Well, what is this human going to do then? Where are you going? He's just kind of vibing around. She is kind of just vibing around. Can you please go towards a cage? I want to put you against the other human. Nope, you're just going to leave? Okay. Hold on. How goes the pillaging? Let's check in on this. Uh... The pillaging continues. That's the raid. Yeah, we knew about that. And then the raid. Oh. Yeah, a dog got killed in that one. Well, we're still waiting on the pillage report, so let's see. Who the fuck are these guys? Oh my god, it's a merchant dark hunter? What the fuck? What are you? My god. I think she must be an undead, right? Yeah, she doesn't feel anything. Who's that? Human merchant. Oh. Human maceman over here as well. He's a visitor. You guys want to fight this human axeman who's just over here hanging out? 
Yes. Yes. Watch, walk towards the cage strap. Come on. Come on. She's suspiciously slow. Is she holding something? I think that's just how slow they actually are. Because, like, she's covered in armor. See, covered in copper. And uh, got a halberd as well. And a shield. <gasps> yes. Yes. Come on. No! Come down one. Come down. No! Fuck! I was hoping she was walking into the cage traps. Damn it. Damn it. Ah. Okay, Otisax is still on. Masterpiece crowns. Goddamn. All right, well, you're just going to keep wandering off. I'll let you be until the uh, until the dwarves get back from Odisax. We kind of got to wait. All right. Let's set up this uh, pressure plate again. This time, I'm just going to go literally two water is going to be enough to trigger this pressure plate. Uh, you know what, maybe three? Three. I'm going to go three. Three should be enough. So three water to trigger the pressure plate, go. We'll try that and we'll see how this works. Did that already work? I think it worked with two for the first time. If three doesn't work, we'll go for two. But hopefully this will work with the uh, with the pit design. Okay, pull that lever. Link this plate. Oh shit! Oh my god, how do you do that little gift thing? Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Thank you very much for the super chat, Chris. Thank you for the four bucks, man. I don't know how the... I don't know how you did the little animation thing, but hey, that's cool. I, didn't, I never saw that before. Duty. Honor. Honor. Who? Are you leaving, by the way? Are you getting out of here? Just give me some coffee. It's blood. It does look a lot like blood, if I'm being honest, yeah. Well, this human's just kind of hanging out over here. Alright. They're still pillaging. And let's go... Let's put a pressure plate in the pool. And it's going to trigger at 6 or 7 depth. Uh, yeah. Yeah? No, because by the time it triggers at 7, it's going to be too late. By the time water gets into the pit, it's already too late. So yeah, fuck that. Have we thrown any elves in the pit yet? Uh, I don't believe so. All the elves died, I think. Uh... I don't know if I threw them in the pit, at least. I don't think I did. Hmm. Oh, hey, there's an actual spot we need to put some traps in here. There we go. Five spears. No? Okay. Weird, what the fuck? Hey, Chris, thank you for the five bucks as well. Oh my god. A little gaming thing as well. So I assume these are just default gifts you can pick between. Thank you very much, man. What the five dollar super chat? Wait, that's... Why can I only set that to three? Yeah, fuck it. Alright, three. There we go. Okay. Throw out that because the object's mangled. Uh, we're on to the market. We should really collect that at some point. Okay, you guys are all good. All right. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, I've completed most of. Oh, there is a demon. There is a, a scholar demon inside of our uh, inside of our area who's researching. Oh god. She heard the knowing fish was the place to perform research. Jesus. Okay. Uh right. Oh, 
Ah, uh, mm, no. Damn. Okay, fuck. I thought I had an idea. I do not have an idea. Alright, we're gonna turn the, uh... Turn the floodgate back on. And we're gonna see if this new pressure system will work. It's just annoying that it's occasionally overflowing a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Ah. <sighs> Maybe putting walls in is a good idea. Hmm. Okay, water flow has started. Okay. Looking good so far. Three. Yep. Okay. Yep. Hmm. It's not... No, hold on. Mm. I'm watching to see if it splashes. Somehow from watching your streams, I've done more Googling in Dwarf Fortress from zero to I want to know it all. If you get a spare fighter, mind if I take the name? Sure, sure. Hold on. Thank you, Northern Crusader. Thank you to 10 pounds, mate. Oh, no, there you go. Just did it. Okay. Fuck. Damn, I missed it. Fuck. Ah. Ah. All right, hold on. I'll pull this again. I'll have to fucking pay attention. Let me, let me name your fighter first. Uh, well, I actually can't name them right now because they're out. I'll have to remember to name them. Uh, I'll have to remember them when they come back. Okay, but hold on. So... I'm trying to see, like, is it just, is it splashing around, like, naturally, or is it not? Okay, what I can try and do to solve the problem, I can try and do this. Floor, ramp, uh, floor, just cover that up. Oh, let's actually do it with proper material. So, what are we build it out of? Olive wood. Okay, olive wood. Oh, no, no, no. Floor. Yeah, it's definitely spreading. So we go olive wood. Don't have any? Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, let's go just orange wood then. Alright. And I might even go a step further and put some orange wood here, and some orange wood here. That should be enough to stop like stray bits of water just falling into the uh, into the bath itself. So let's pull the bris uh, the bridge mist lever. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna assign someone to the fuck you, pull the lever thing. Let's go... Uh, yeah, fuck it. Oh, you know what? You're a performer. Where's the GG Sam? GG Sam, hello. Nice to see you again. Come up here. You have a job. Okay. Hmm. Right now. Fuck, no, look, it starts to... Oh, wait, hang on. Never mind, it's because the bridge closed. Okay, good, good, good. That's fine, actually. Okay, that is fine. Okay, wait for this. Good. Pull the bridge mist again. Floodgate on the north is going to stay closed. Okay, he's pulling the bridge mist now. Okay. You need to open up the northern bridge a little. Hmm. Uh, no, drawbridges shouldn't be destroyed by building destroyers at rank 2. 
resistant, as far as I'm aware. Let me go literally confirm this. Hold on. Um, and it, they need to be touching it regardless, but I don't think that's even how that works. You might be thinking of a mod, because I used to play with uh, mods that added that stuff. If I recall rightly, bridges? Uh, yeah, bridges can't be destroyed. Yep. Uh, the simplest way to, kill bu to keep building destroyers two from targets is with walls or channels. A drawbridge will act like a constructed wall if up, or floor if down, blocking building destroyers two without the danger of it being destroyed. Yep, that was right. Uh, yeah, so basically you can't destroy bridges, which is again one of my problems with the game. The fact that bridges are so fucking invulnerable. Um, but okay. Hey, hey, get out of the fucking- get out of the funnel! You're not meant to be in there, mate. That's not for humans to be walking- not for dwarves, sorry, to be walking in. Okay, let's pull this floodgate. Okay, looks good. Five and four, which is what we want. You pulled the lever yet? Oh, come on, how have you not- You, you exist in the zone purely to pull the lever. Pull the fucking lever. Do your job. Okay. Reason for... Okay, that looks fine. I don't think any further mist is flooding in. So it looks like we have everything under control in the bathhouse for the first time ever. Alright! Get this lungfish remain out of here. And we'll try and uh, dump these. There we go. Just clear these all out. So mist seems to be working. Yeah, this looks like it's working. All right. All right. Holy shit. Okay, I think we've finally designed it in such a way that we can have a mist generator and when required can fill the bath. I don't think there's any other changes we've got to make. My only hope is it can't fall into here. You know what? I'm not even going to risk it. I'm going to put a cover up on that position as well. So, fuck it. Okay. I'm just looking. I'm keeping an eye on to make sure that nothing's going fucky. But if we look at this, it looks like the bath is working. Yeah. So, it turns off and on as required. It's got the seven water there. Yep. Oh, the farm plot's just been built out here. Let's, uh, let's grow something here. What do I want to grow? Let's grow, uh, fisher berries. Sure. And then, uh, let's grow some... You know, fuck it, let's just grow some fisher berries. Yeah, whatever. We'll just do that for a bit. Okay. Will the bathhouse slightly submerged teach the swimming skill? Yes. So you need, uh, I think it's four water is how much you need. To, or it's either four or three water to teach swimming. So you'll be able to, uh, what do you call it? Um, teach your dwarves how to swim in this. So what I'm actually going to do real quick... Oh wait, they're not even... Fuck, these guys have been a while. They've been pillaging for a while. As soon as they get back, I'll probably wrap up stream. Um, the, uh, the pillage returners once they're back. But I want to put them in here for a bit of training first. Before we actually wrap up stream. What is mist used for? Dwarves love mist. That's what mist is used for. Uh, let me... Oh, that's a ramp. What the fuck? Why am I building a ramp? Whoops. Floor. Here we go. Here we go. So if I go... Let's see. Come on. Walk inside the mist. Walk inside the mist. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn it. I need, I need someone to walk inside the mist. But the point is dwarves love mist. They just adore it. Hmm. I would like to be able to dry up some of this water here. That would be nice. Uh, but for now, it looks good. Everything seems to be functional, so I, you know, I quite like it. You know what? Maybe we could like separate it with like a bit of a wall. Maybe uh. No, because I want I want to have the mist get through as well. No, see, I j it just overflowed there. Damn. All right, yeah. 
fuck. All right, we're making one more change to the design. Um. Man, do I do I do this? Do I just go down another level, and then I go over to here? So I can go. Uh, no, because that's not going to work. Because I can't pump it out. Fuck. Ah, uh, God. Ah, oh, man. Um. You know what? We'll live. We'll live for it for now. We'll just have to occasionally like empty out the bath a little. It's just something we'll have to live with. We'll set it so that if it ever hits seven, the bath. That's actually okay. Better idea. Yep. Okay. Can't you do a pump loop? No, because pumps are too strong, unfortunately. Um, right. There is a pump loop going on, but pumps are too strong that they make the whole thing basically untenable. So what we're going to do... Oh, GG Sam, you can leave in just a second. Please pull these levers first. We'll make a final change. Seriously, like, this would not be an issue. This bathhouse would be perfect if they actually fucking fixed screw pumps. Because screw pumps pump water right now at a rate of, like, an electric pump IRL. And, and, and when I say electric pump, I mean, like, a high-powered one. They absolutely throw water out, and it's way too fast. It's hard to deal with. So, we'll empty out the lower area, and we'll make a quick test. What I'll do is I'll put a, a pressure plate in the bath, and when the bath gets to seven, it will open this gate and let some water out. So hopefully it won't design. Maybe a weaker pump design? That's fascinating, dude. Let me just do that. Oh, wait. I can't. You can't. That's not a thing. I, I, I can't just make a weaker pump. The only thing I could possibly do is do it sideways to deal with water pressure, but then I have to redesign the whole thing, and it's just not going to work. Alright. Pump by hand instead of powered. Moves the same speed if it pumps by hand. And uh, and then I would also not have an automated bathhouse, which would kind of lose the entire point. Believe me. When I say the problem is it moves too fast, it moves too fast. I've had three games now to figure this out. Your ideas are not going to be heard. Uh, what do you call it? They're not going to be fucking like revolutionary. Half the output of one pump by uh, recirculating half of the output. Doesn't work, dude. Okay. Let me be simple. The pumps are too powerful. Anything you say will not be will not matter because the pumps are too powerful. The pumps are so powerful that they will stack water on top of each other. So water will be stacking on top of each other and spreading out because of how powerful they are. My, uh, my current design is probably going to be the best chance I have at making this, so, uh, I will get this down, and then we should be good. Nope, Yurton's complaining again. Really drove to sack? God, that's still going there. What about a fixed amount of water? That would work, but it would run dry occasionally. Well, hang on, it would still... No, that would actually lose water over time, because it's going to lose water to the splashing. So, I would have to somehow make it a perfect system that can't lose water, which isn't really going to be possible with how fast they pump. Um, and would also require, again, a complete redesign of the entire bathhouse, so... Also not going to be done. I don't remember pumps being this strong. Like, I swear they weren't this powerful back in the day. They've made them ridiculously powerful. I might just be wrong on that. Maybe they've always been this powerful. I, I really never remember having to do all of this dumb fucking dick around. Why isn't the blood being removed doesn't annoy you? No, it doesn't annoy me because it doesn't do anything. It literally doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. And uh, it's not getting removed because dwarves won't clean this area. I could manually remove it with pits, but it would take forever and would just create more mess, probably. All right. Can I create a second part? No. Okay. All of the suggestions right now are not going to work.
The problem with the bath, sorry, with the pump, is literally just that it pumps so fast that it stacks water on top of itself, and that water, having nowhere to go, spreads out and therefore floods the bathhouse. It's just because the pumps are so strong. All right. I've already flooded the outside world. Besides, you've got to recognize that water has travel time as well, which is different to pumping. Pumping is so much more powerful than travel time of, like, water by standard. So, yeah. Believe me, your ideas aren't going to work, guys. Just wait for us to build this floodgate one. That'll be fine. That'll at least make sure that my dwarves won't magically drown in the bath. It'll be fine. Gonna make the bathhouse slightly bigger? That's just gonna delay the problem, though. That's not gonna solve the problem, it's just gonna make it a problem further down the line. Come on, dry up already. I'm waiting for this. As soon as this gets emptied in here. Oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, man. Uh, Michael Scott Thompson, what you literally just described is what we have. And it doesn't work. Guys, please. When I say chillax on the suggestions, chillax on the suggestions. Because none of them are working, and all of them, and half of them, what you're suggesting, don't even make sense. <laughs> so, believe me, I, I'm just gonna put the plate, the plate in as intended, and that will solve our slight filling issue. It'll be fine. <sighs> there we go. Okay, finally can move again. Alright, well, let's wrap up all of our other buildings while we're here. So... Have we got much more... Uh, oh, hang oh, on. Farm's open. Hello. Uh, make some cave wheat, would you? Thank you. Plump helmets. Plump helmets. Cool. Alright. Human, still alive. Still the master of the pit. Only has a hand and neck dented. Summer has arrived. Good. All right, so we wait for this to dry up, then we can place the pressure plate in. And then we're pretty much good. Bathhouse should be done. Let's uh, go to the soap area as well, and we'll see about, uh, where are we? Soap makers, yeah. Make me some more soap, would you? I desire as much soap as you possibly can produce. Good. Actually, you know what? Just do it forever. Literally. I don't know why I t typed all this out. Just do it forever. Make me soap. Okay. Oh, man. Look at all this. God, this is all the hospital supplies. Look at that. All right. Still waiting for this to all dry up or get pushed out. Fucking lungfish remains. All right. I think otherwise, we're pretty much, like, secure and clean. Like, god, we do not have any, like, real worries. Not these days. Aha! Starting to dry up. Nice. Alright, come on, nearly dried up. How much longer until my boys get home? Fuck, these guys are taking forever. They don't normally take this long. God. That's interesting. Okay, question. Do you think, because people keep walking along this path, that's why all the grass has disappeared? 
Do dwarves walking on an area for long enough eventually get rid of uh, grass? Does it really? Hmm. That's cool as hell. A vile force of darkness has arrived, seeking a parlay. What? Okay, hold on. First of all, our, our military is still out of the fort. Not good. Uh, we're gonna pull a code blue real quick. Code blue, get back inside of the fort. Here we go. We're gonna close the main gate, but then we'll let the other ones stay open. And let's figure out what the fuck they mean by parlay. The muscular immortality wishes to parlay in order to avert loss of life. Okay. Hold on a second. Who are you guys? Let's look at this. The muscular immortality. The goblins, who we've killed a few times. Ah, exports to, to the goblins is terror, and offerings from them is vengeance. <laughs> okay. Dwarves, there's Regatol, that's the guys we're part of. Uh, there's- oh no, Tragic War's our site government, there we go. And there's the humans that we have an alliance with. Okay, so, let's do a real quick check as well. The site government of this place is Fabulous Systems, okay, and they're still pillaging it, alright. I mean, okay, fuck it, yeah, let's- let's uh, approve. Uh... Let me, hold on, let me quickly check. Where is... Okay, goblin. Which one of you is the, is the talker? Who's here to chat? Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay. Alright, let's get everyone inside the fort. Let's use the parlay time to do this. Here we go. Okay, don't need that. The carnal evils. Jesus, get out of here. My leader is supposed to go talk. Okay, well, let's see what my leader's gonna do. Unless there's... Is there a... Is someone doing... No. Ah, attend parlay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no, it's down here. It's in the thing? What? <laughs> Rimmy, this is going to be a very challenging start. I'm embarking in a difficult area. Also, Rimmy, the forces of evil are asking for mercy. <laughs> okay, hold on. So he's down here. Uh, will the goblin just come in to the fort? Like it says attend to parlay. I mean, tell you what, I'll unlock uh, you from at least the thing. Here we go. At least you can wander wherever you want. Alright. Maybe. We'll see if that works. Okay. Uh, and then we go... So this gate is still open. So we're okay there. Oh shit. Hold on. Whoops. That's bad. Let's add this stuff in real quick. This is just a nice way to, uh, to make sure my dwarves can access the various areas. Good. Okay. Uh-huh. Alright, select all of that. Good. Just while we're under burrow, I need to make sure my burrows are actually set up correctly. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, not so good. Okay. And then this is the cabins, right? Here we go. Okay, all right. So they should be able to come in now, or Mercer should be able to go talk to them. One way or the other. Uh, actually, let me just go nobles. Here we go. I can't click on it that way? Okay. Mercer, Hulk, attend parlay. Okay, right. I think it was because they were burrowed. Right, here we go. Okay. Let's watch this. Here we go. I sure do hope my military returns home at some point, by the way. That's kind of essential. 
If not, Mercer may just get cut down by some goblins here. Thank god they have a pick, so they might go sicko mode. They might just kill the entire goblin horde, who knows. Enter a martial trance and go wild. And if they die, well, at least it's only a noble. Oh god, look at the goblins. Oh god. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Diploma- oh! I briefly saw the diplomacy button and then it disappeared. What? I think parlays might be fucked right now. What? It was there for a split second. Fuck, I kinda wanna reload now. What the fuck? Well that was annoying as hell. Not the first time that's happened. Well, good talk, I guess. Um. Um. Well, I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. Fuck, how long does it take to pillage your place? So what it was the parlay, like, normally they should be offering a peace deal, right? Being like, we should end this war kind of thing? He walked off map? No, he didn't. No, he's here. But... Yeah, I, don't, I guess I guess it's just bugged out. I guess, I think my game is bugged. Because I keep having diplomacy appear in the top left. And then it just goes, bleh, and it's just gone, right? So... They demand a relic, and if you give it to them, they leave. Okay, so it's like tribute then. Alright, well, given that I don't think this is going to work, I'm going to go down and just pull that lever immediately before they get in the fort. Uh, here we go. Northern bridge, pull lever, go. No goblins coming inside, no thank you. And they're getting closer. Pull the lever! Pull the lever! I wonder if my traps will still work, even though they're not, like, actually attacking me right now. What? There's a goblin dancer dark one here, who is a competent spearman with a copper spear. Let's observe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, it's massacring them. Oh, you did get cut up yourself though, but holy shit. Wow. Oh my god. The goblin dancer's nearly dead, but uh, they tore apart that squad. Holy shit. Yep, they just, they just wiped the whole squad. Yep, whole, whole dead squad. Oh my god. Hey, do you want to parlay still? <laughs> or do you want to leave? How about that? That wasn't even someone in my fort. That was just a random visitor that just utterly destroyed them. Hey, are you okay? You seem kind of fucked up. Your heart is bruised. All right, let me, uh, let me unforbid all of that. Okay, uh... Fuck, these guys are still pillaging Odisax. Ah, oh, no! Wagons bypassed me, damn it. Should've had my door open. Alright, open the door. Open the doors! The humans are here to trade! Is there anyone... Oh hey, we have a we have a caged prisoner. Nice. All right. Oh god, I thought I thought the the skull had actually gone down to finally to that level. Now we're done. Let me uh, let me throw in the caged goblin. Oh, and a monitor lizard. Very fun. Let me unlock this. Good. Oh wait, unlock that. There we go. 
And then, please trade. And let's sell some barrels of food, which are worth way too much money. There we go. Okay. Yep, siege is over. They, uh, they got cut up by a goblin, failed a parlay, and left. Excellent. Human the Pit is still here. Let's see. Where's that goblin lasher? Oh, they're up here. I see. Ooh! These humans have elephants! These humans might sell elephants, hopefully. You guys gonna come to the depot? It's over here. Oh, I think they're going through the lower way. They're going through here and coming up. They might sell me an elephant. I'm praying. I hope. All right. God, how long? Weird, like, a raid takes no time. Why does pillaging take so fucking long? Is it bugged out? Are they just not, like, reach? Like, there's ten guys there. You can outnumber them and just kill them all. Alright, let's, uh... Put down this pressure plate. Now water is going to trigger when it's at seven. Do I want to go six or seven? I'll say six or seven. Six or seven is enough that it's uh, reasonable to open the gate. So. And now we go up here. We pull that one closed. Good. And we pull... The south one open. Hmm. No, someone asked to join the squad. Yeah, I'm trying to remember Northern Crusader because I know I gotta name you when you get back, so don't let me forget. Um I'm just gotta keep waiting. Here we go. Very nice. Uh a lot of demons and degnus around here. The Keeper of the Seal. A diplomat. A demon diplomat has actually arrived. That's so cool. Look at that. He's attending a meeting. He's got a wife. Does he also worship Ted? Aw, he doesn't. He worships Pest Rat. Well, here comes the demon. Off they go to join a meeting. I'll tell you what, I'll watch you in a moment, demon. Let's uh, let's trade at the depot real quick. Okay, looking good. Okay, let's trade. Where is bags, bars, maybe? Cages is what I'm looking for. Where are we? Damn, I do not think they have elephant. Oh. You don't have elephant, do you? They do not. Damn it. All right. Okay, so what can we buy from them? Uh, give me platinum, fuck it. Give me actually all of your bars. I'll buy all of those. Um, take the water skins. We always want those. They're good. Oh, come on. Take the cages. Uh, we could take a pike and a... Beans, sand, leeks, okay. Uh, let's get these, sure. Some seeds. And then we'll also get some leather for backpacks. That's kind of important. There we go. So two bins of leather. 
Let's get some even more. Three bins of leather. We have... Oh god, bolts are expensive. Jesus, now we're good. Okay, uh, none of that. Okay, alright. I think that's all we need. Alright, uh, so let's sell two barrels. And that's enough. Wow, they'll actually take only one barrel. Never mind. Nice, god damn. Alright. Oh! Yo! The human lost! The human lost! Look! Kem's Sammy map is dead! The Silver Scimitar has lost to the Goblin Lasher! To the Silver Whip and Iron Shield. Let's look at the let's look at the fight. In the mist of conflict, I must press on. He lashes uh, the human in the right foot with the silver whip. A new champion is born. Lashes, but it was blocked. Lashes, it was bruised. Lash, lash, lash. Goblin Lasher chips the bone. Lashing, yep. Lashes her in the skull, knocking her unconscious. And then she just got killed. Oh my god. Let's see. My god, the human had bit the fucking boar. But let me see, did you fight? Oh, I see, they fell over. Oh, because they got knocked over. Yeah, yeah, they get fucked up by this, uh... Oh, by this fight. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so the first attack is the Goblin Lasher shows up, and the very first thing they did was hit the human in their uh, foot with the lash, which immediately knocked the human down. And then the, the Lasher just stood over them and just lashed them to death. God damn, that's rough. What a horrible way to die. Holy fuck. Alright, well we have a new king of the pit. Amash Kadasi. Amash Vised Helms. Goblin Lasher. Nice. God damn. Alright. Oh! Oh, hey! Uh, the Baroness Mercer Holt meets with the Demon of Degnu, Keeper of the Seal, Fayoba Wimolasana. Okay. It's a pleasant pace you've carved out for yourselves. Yes, there is much to share. That's interesting. Was that it? Did you seriously just come here to tell us about the news? Alright, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that stuff's so fucking cool. Look at this. Well, uh, let's see, Keeper of the Seal. Oh, I see! That's from the human faction. They're from the matched confederacies. That's where the demon comes from. Okay. Um, at this point, I'm also kind of thinking that- Oh! Oh, I see. These guys are still traveling, really? Holy fuck. Yeah, they're still traveling. The pillagers are still traveling. I think that might be bugged, if I'm being honest. Oh, Baroness got re-elected. There we go. Okay, now this... Oh, fuck! I did a stupid... Whoops. Remove that. I really, yeah, I just want to know what happened to my pillagers so I can wrap up, because, like, it really should be... I should know what my pillagers are doing. Do the demons enslave the humans, or the humans enslave the demons? The demons, I, I, think, I think I should just live with the humans, like, you know. Like, uh, like, friendly. <laughs> I think they're just, they're all just happy with each other. Okay. Oh, wait, no, hang on. I did set this to six and seven, didn't I? Fuck, what am I doing? I'm silly. Uh, set that to there. Go. See, this dude's cleaning. 
All right. Hmm. Let's, uh... Close the mist bridge. There we go. Okay, we well, you know what? Pause that for now. Because I've got to wait for this connection to happen. Come on. When's the connection happening? Come on. Where are ya? Oh, was that it just then? God, someone shop with mechanics, please. No, you're just here to clean. God damn it, come on. Would dwarves be unhappy if they lived on the surface? No, they'd be fine. Uh, you can give them cave adaptation. If you live permanently underground and never go above the uh, earth, you can get cave adaptation and then dwarves won't like that. But, uh, but they can live above ground just fine. It's just like, it's like a sickness, kind of like in RimWorld. You just get it after a while and then you just kind of have to get rid of it. Um, I'm going to stop trading, by the way. Come on, where is my man to do this job? Yes, okay, good, good, good. All right, connected. Good. Okay, pull the mist lever. Go. Pull the mist lever. Oh shit, the demon of Degnu's scholar is fighting. What? Oh, I think it killed a fucking... Yeah, I think the scholar killed a monitor lizard. I don't know why, though. <laughs> oh god, alright. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, gem set has been possessed. Migrants, goblins. Goblin criminal hollow one. What a terrible person. Alright. Good, this stuff's flooding in. Pull the mist lever again, go. But if we watch this now... Come on, come on, come on, come on. How goes the pillaging? Fuck, the pillaging is still ongoing. So watch this now. Wait for it. If this hits six or seven, it's hit six, it opens. Okay, it's on seven. The gate has opened. Wait. So I want to see if it can close out as well. Looks good. Yeah, this system looks to be working just fine. It's now going back down to fives, it's on to fours. Gate should close soon, since the uh, the pressure plate has deactivated. Yes, gate is closed. The problem is a big delay between something activating and something actually happening, unfortunately. Okay, you've claimed a jewelers. But holy shit, there we go. That's a functional bath. All right, bathhouse done. We're calling that good and done. Oh, all right, well, now my, uh, my boys can wash up there. I just, I'd love to be able to wrap up the stream, but I'd really like my pillagers to get back. What are you guys doing? You guys are on a mission right now. Yep. You're both traveling still, apparently. I'm just, I don't know why. Why they're not fucking, uh, by the way, hold on a second. Holy shit, this is an expansive area down here. Look at this, look how populated this area is. Holy shit. Wow. It's a huge city. Bunch of hamlets next to each other. Oh my god. Well, I don't really know how to track how long those dwarves are going to be. 
I don't really want to cancel them either, because if it's been this long... You know, it's either they are bugged and I have to cancel them, or it's been this long and I just need to wait a little bit longer. That's annoying that I don't know which one that is. Because Odisax is just north of us. How long does it normally take? Not this long, that's the thing. I don't know, it's it's normally much faster. What if I removed? Fuck it, yeah. I've removed it. I'm gonna set a new one. Actually, you know what? Let's just go back to the fort and see if my dwarves come back. Are you guys here yet? Nope, they're, uh, they're currently uh, traveling off site. Okay. Um... Can I just tell them again? Yeah, pillage, openly attack. Oh, I guess I, I guess because these guys, okay, fuck it. These guys are coming home. Oh no. Okay, yeah, close out all the missions and they'll come home. All right, we'll just wait for them to come home next time. Once they're back, we can send them out again, but it's really weird they took that long. Like it should not have taken that long. I'm gonna bring them back and just make sure they're okay. Uh, for now, though, we are going to wrap up. So, thank you all for watching. I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, I don't know when we'll be doing Dwarf Fortress again. Probably after Christmas. Uh, we have a stream on Twitch tomorrow. Going to be Sub Rosa with the boys tomorrow. That should be good fun. Uh, but yeah. All right. I'm going to wrap it up here for now. Sorry, Noble Crusader. I'm actually going to make a fucking note. Okay. Uh, Northern Crusader, rather. Uh, you know what? Can I just do it like this? No uniform. The Granite Swamps. No, I'm going to call this... I'm going to name these... Oh, fuck. I have to... Shit, that's not going to work. Um, noble, well, I can't name you a noble. We already have our, our nobles already named, I think. Oh, no, we, I, can make, I can name you a a manager. But uh, you can't be a noble, unfortunately. Um, yeah, you can be... That guy's traveling as well. Couldn't be that guy. Can I? I can't rename him from here, can I? No. What? Oh! Oh, that's extra weird. Why is it only two of them traveling, but the rest of the fucking group is here? Oh, no, they just got home. Okay, they got home. Oh, thank God. All right, you're going to be Datan or Ast. So they got home real quick. What the fuck? Why did they return so quickly if they took so long to get out there? All right, you are this guy. You are a sword master. Northern Crusader. Here we go. There we go. Now I don't have to remember. I think it was definitely bugged. There was no reason it should have taken that long. Yeah, they're all home again. I definitely think that pillage was bugged. All right. We'll try again next time. All right. We're going to wrap it up there. Thank you all for watching. I've been Rumi. This has been Dwarf Fortress. I can't really raid on YouTube, so oh well. Um, but uh, I'll see you guys on Twitch tomorrow for the, uh, for the Sub, uh, Sub Rosa stream. Uh, and I hope you guys will enjoy. All right, see ya, see ya.